just so glad that they invited us to be part of this mission. It's true, a nice change of scenery, and look at how spacious this juggernaut is. I wonder if they'll let us borrow it. You know, after everything's done with Rampart and everything. Could you imagine? It looks like a giant dune buggy out on the dune seat. Be pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, if you guys need any help, just let us know. We're right here. It, and by the way, no one answered my question. Is Gonky okay? I'm sure he's fine. Did you see the Outlaws trailer? I did. Yeah. I did. Assassin's Creed in space. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. I think it was that other trailer. It was the uh, Tales of the... Oh, the Tales of the Empire trailer. It was so cool. That's it. That's it. No, I'm looking forward to it. You know, great time to be a fan. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Hey, did it. Oh, okay. If you guys need anything, we're right here. Locked and loaded. Don't hesitate. You know, it's really cool having a front row seat watching them work. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. Hey, Connor. Yep. Did Hunter run by? With uh, Wrecker and Crosshair. Well, then who's driving the juggernaut? It's a miracle we made it out of there alive. It is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, they just left us in there. I know. And I, here, guys, I know we just like just started, but here's the deal, right? The thing goes off of there into just a, a gully, a, a, a wasteland. Yes. Let's be real. Yeah. Thank goodness. Thank the maker. That the airbags were up to Imperial code. Because that's true. the one thing those guys got down it, is they got standards, It's right? true. Well, I mean, who wants to pay insurance? That, that's what I'm saying. That's they what get, I'm saying. Get, 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 but here's the other thing, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. just will the force, call it what you will. Yeah. Down there in that valley, you want to know how we got back here out to the Dune Sea? Uh, we found a... You know what? I'll just... Uh, hey, R2. Show, show the people at home what we rode in on. Ooh, buddy. The classic... Yeah, a couple yeah. of those guys yeah. just just chilling out mm -hmm. in that valley. You know what I'm saying? It was like it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a, yeah. we're good, R two. You, you could we could thank you. Wild stuff. That's yes. all I'm saying. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, but welcome to another episode of Beyond the Dune Sea. My name is Connor, and I'm Seth. And you know what? I think we just gotta before we even get into favorite comments. We got a lot of live comments going on we right do. here. Right, we do. My goodness, all of you got, thank you, 13 of you guys in here. Uh, we have, oh, let me, uh, let me pull a couple of you guys up. Tails, Tails from Tashi Station, good to see you. How we sounded? We sounded good? I'm always self-conscious yeah, about that. I was going to say, do we sound okay, guys? Um, Michael Kramer, I say, hey, you say what? what? Good to see you in here, yeah. Michael. Sir Django, received the Black Series Young Anakin Padme figs today. They look spot on. I, I'm looking for those. I've got a, I'm hoping... My uh, my local uh, shop gets the, gets those. Adam Gilbert, first live stream I can make it to. Glad you're here, Adam. Uh, so happy to be here. Love the content that y'all make. You too, Tales from Tashi. Love your stuff. He's great. Tales from Tashi. He, and hey, he's got some some neat stuff in the works. I'll just say that. Cole, what's up, gents? The Brianosaurus. Hello there. Um, and oh my goodness, Michael Kramer with the 199 super chat. This is for Seth's new TIE Fighter. You know what? I think we're going to pour that right into the Interceptor's true, uh, a work. They need a little bit of love. A little, little bit. Yeah. It's a miracle we got here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah. Oh, okay. we got we got Katie. Um, we can't stay long, but I hope Seth enjoyed WrestleMania. Oh. Oh, you have no idea, my dear. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Use text parachute. What, what parachute? What parachute, Django? Tech didn't have a parachute. Mm -hmm. That's too soon, my friend. <laughs> it is. It is. And he says, writing away. Can't rush perfection. Tales from Tashi. Peep the new logo, by the way. Ooh. Nice. Nice. 
Love it. But yeah. let's give a little love to some of our favorite comments. Yes. All yeah. right. My mm-hmm. favorite comment yeah. from last week. Let me get it pulled up. Apologize. Oh. We got what? A message from Hunter. Uh, oh, here boys. we go. Hey, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. The heat of the moment and, uh, well, didn't mean to leave you guys behind. I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks for helping us secure Admiral Rampart. We'll have the location to Tantus Base in no time. Until then, stand by. We'll need all the help we can get. I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't even know if I want to reply to that, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think we should help him. Yeah, this guy, I mean, he leaves us on red for weeks, mm-hmm. right? After getting us out, you know, trying to help find Omega. Yeah. And then, oh, they find Omega, so they don't need us anymore. But then all of a sudden, here we are helping with the Juggernaut, and then they leave us for dead. Do you know where, You know who knows where Tandis is? We've been there. Ridiculous. Why, why not just ask us? Ridiculous. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Just, uh... For the good of the rest of the clones, for my boy Rex, you know, maybe we'll help out with the uprising. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Right. But yeah. Look, still a little salty right now. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Anyway, he interrupted my favorite comment. My favorite comment comes from the Brianosaurus, who I just saw in here. I don't think any Star Wars character has a face as punchable as Pong Krell. Imagine batting that big old chin around like a speed <laughs> <laughs> I just this comment cracked me up. Yeah, it's good. It's a good comment. <laughs> I mean, it's just you don't even need to say anything, you know, right? Yeah. Like it's just uh <laughs> it's great. My favorite comment is from the big E uh the big E N C C seventeen oh one. And this was on YouTube from our video last week. The kidnapped children is such a good reveal because it fits. It makes sense beyond this show. There is no reason to think it could be, uh, it could be force sensitive children, and it still makes us gasp that the empire would really go that far. I dig it. I mean, like, uh, kind of like what we said last week. It's just like you know, uh, I really like how um, this show is showing us just how dark the empire can be. Yeah. So yeah. there's not much worse than you know kidnapping kids. Yeah, just because easier to control and i mean let's he wants their youth he wants their you know he wants their blood yeah yes it's good stuff it's good stuff yeah mm-hmm. so yeah before we move into kind of the main topic of this conversation because there's tons to talk about this week a lot happened a lot happened out beyond the dune sea <laughs> mm-hmm. star wars outlaws yes new bad batch mm-hmm. um and a couple of things first things first we've been teasing something with yeah. PopCon Indie. You guys remember from our last shows? We usually talk about it toward the end, but we're putting it up to the top because we can finally talk about what we're doing. Yes. We finally got the okay. So, big announcement here. We'll start with two announcements. Hey, I think your mic went out. Maybe. It did. Thank you. Good call. Good call. I, I, clicked, I clicked the wrong button. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Django. Yes. So, to back up a little bit, since you guys yeah. probably didn't hear any of that, um, a lot happened this past couple weeks. Uh, we got Tales from the Empire. We got Star Wars Outlaws. New Bad Batch. But we've been teasing something uh, to do with PopCon Indie. The, it's a convention in Indianapolis. Um, it's happening at the end of the month, April 27th and 28th. Um, and we've been teasing something to do with this. And we now mm-hmm. can finally talk about it. Yes. So two announcements. We'll start with the smaller one first. Sunday, April 28th at 12 p.m. EST, we'll be doing a live, like actual live in person cast from Indie PopCon. On the main stage. On the main or stage. What, or like what, a, yeah, what are the main podcast stage? They kind of yeah, have like a. It sounds like we're going to be kind of in the, um, like maybe where you could eat or where you could like, uh, or like a vendor hall somewhere yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll be doing a live cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, if anybody's there, I know we have some people who are kind of in the Midwest area yeah. uh, that we talked to in the past. We're going to be there. Come say yeah. hi if you're going to be there. Uh, come see your boys. You know, but the big announcement. Yeah, this one's this one's cool. Yeah. On Saturday, April twenty seventh at three p.m. EST, Beyond the Dune Sea is emceeing an interview panel with Jim Cummins. Yeah, Hondo Onaka. Yeah, and a lot of other things too. I mean, like this guy, his his resume is insane. He's one of the goats. Let's be honest. I mean, he's in like every Disney movie ever. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. You. 
you you've heard him before we'll say that like what do we got darkwing duck darkwing duck winnie the pooh yes he's tigger tigger he's pete from a goofy movie yeah yeah so um and of course from star wars hondo anaka hondo anaka and so we were approached by popcon uh to MC their panel so we'll be interviewing him live on the stage um we don't know if we'll be able to put that on the main channel or not that's still a discussion that's ongoing uh we'll keep you guys posted on that but we are to say the least we're very excited about that we're honored that we were asked to do that Mm -hmm. um and yeah. yeah so I mean, I'm stoked, man. I, I can't I lie. I will like, admit, yeah. I'm a wreck. Yeah, I'm but, a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I th- we'll do well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I just, yeah, I just, uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So we, we've had that one in the back pocket for a while. We yeah. wanted to share it. Now, I'll be honest. I don't even know what we're going to talk about live. That's the other thing that I'm a little worried about. The live about. cast. Yeah, yeah, just the live cast. Like, I don't even know what we're going to talk about. Like, what's, Yeah. Because that's, that's just before the Bad Batch finale. It is. So, uh, which is yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. So excited about that. So wanted to share. um, And yeah, so going Mm -hmm. in, you know, why don't you, because you were asked about it, WrestleMania, because we both had two things last weekend. I went to the Midwest Gaming Classic. Yeah. uh, That was in Milwaukee. Yeah. Seth had WrestleMania. Yeah. Do you really want me to talk about WrestleMania? Of course I do. I get comments where people were like, I want Seth to start his own wrestling show. (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I had thought that maybe like once a week we should do like, uh, I do a uh, a Raw recap or something like that. But um, Okay. So, um, guys, WrestleMania is broken up now into two nights. Night one, the main event was Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. Okay. And if the the bad guys are Roman Reigns and The Rock. Okay. And the good guys is Cody Rhodes and, um, and Seth Rollins. I got so, you. Last year, Cody fought Roman for the WWE title. Okay. He lost. Okay. He has since gone through the ringer won the royal rumble again and challenged okay but the rock got in the way and the rock is basically like all right tag match if we if we win bad guys get to do anything they want the next night in the championship match if the good guys win the bad guys stay out of it well guess what night one bad guys lost or ah, bad guys uh bad guys won okay all right so we go into night two all right bases are loaded it's the bomb of the ninth. Cody's <laughs> Cody Cody's hurting, man. Okay. Cody's hurting. And but but like but he, but he's still fighting. He's doing well, okay? First Roman's cousin comes out, okay? Jimmy Uso, all right, and he's messing things up, okay? Then Jey Uso, Jimmy's twin brother, okay, he comes out and they take each other out, okay? All right. Jay used to be part of uh, part of the bloodline. That's the evil faction. Okay, it's all a family. The Rock's actually related to them, and okay. Roman Reigns actually related. Are you with me still? Yeah, I'm all still... right, I, I feel like I'm talking about nothing. Sure, Explain like, it in Star Wars terms. It is. No, no, okay, I'm, I'm just... trying to. Yeah, I mean, it really is kind of like Return of the Jedi. It's kind of wild. It's like... <laughs> all right, so J- uh, Jay takes Jimmy out. He tackles him off the ramp. He goes into the tables. Okay. Then next thing you know, Solo Sokoa, their little brother, comes out. Okay. Then he hits uh he hits Cody with the Samoan spike. He tapes up his thumb and he hits him in the neck. All right, yeah. Th- that's how Cody lost last year. Okay. Yeah, he got spiked in the neck. Did and the lore Roman update. Gotcha. Spear. Okay. okay, yeah. So it's storytelling, it's layers, baby. It's layers. All right. <laughs> so he hits Cody with it. All right. Then he picks up Cody again and Roman spears him. Like he tackles him as he's hitting him with the spike. All right. Cody still kicks out. Everyone's losing their mind. All of a sudden, John Cena's music hits. You know, the ba, ba, da, ba, that song. Yeah, that meme. He runs down, takes out Solo. Okay. Then The Rock comes out. The final boss. Okay. He walks down the ramp. He beats the crap out of Cena. He tells him to get out of his ring because now The Rock kind of controls WWE with like he's part of the TKO group, which bought uh, WWE. Okay. Then... Seth Rollins tries to come out and help using Roman Reigns. Like him and Roman Reigns used to be in a group together. Okay. And Seth Rollins came out dressed in that garb using that music. Roman takes him out easy. Oh no. Seth's on the ground. Cody's on the ground. The Rock's standing over him. He takes off his belt that says Mama Rhodes on it. He is going to put her son's blood on that belt and give it to her. How scary is that? You with me still? (laughs) All right. Out of nowhere, The Undertaker's gong goes off. Man, this is like... 
I it, know. This is it's, like the I, Avengers. It's but. literally, it's end game. It's happening right now. I think we got to, yeah, Tail, yeah, Tail said that. Yes, it is. It is. It's it's end game. Okay, and I'm sorry for everybody that is like, but this is wild. Undertaker appears. He grabs onto the rock. He choke slams him. And all of a sudden, then the lights go back out and they come back up. And they're gone. Undertaker took him to hell or somewhere. I don't know. Wherever Undertaker <laughs> takes him to. He's an undead wizard. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So now Roman is left with a chair in the ring and Seth Rollins and Cody are both laying on the ropes. Seth is, though, dressed in the garb that where he 10 years ago betrayed Roman with a chair. He's staring. He's staring. He hits Cody, wins the match. He hits Seth. He gets the ultimate revenge. Ten years brewing. He chooses to hit Seth. Okay? Revenge means more to him than the championship itself. A championship he has not... Like, he's had it since 2020, Connor. This has been (laughs) building. He's had it for over a thousand days. Okay? He hits Seth with the chair. And he turns into three crossroads from Cody Rhodes. He hits his finisher three times on him. Pinned one, two, three. And that's it. And Roman walks up the ramp. And all Roman's ever wanted for the past two years is to be acknowledged. Everybody run down, runs down the ramp to put Cody up on their shoulders. <laughs> Everyone just runs past Roman. You know what that is? Cinema. This is right on time. That's is, exactly what Tails just it said. Is cinema Maybe guys we got a lot of a lot of people are with you so there you so. go <laughs> there you go guys i'm telling you it it, it might be the, the best wrestlemania the indie the uh arguably the best wrestlemania easily the best ending to wrestlemania we've ever had just saw this briano yeah thanks for popping in hey, appreciate it you. appreciate it Bye. so yeah elbow elbow's with you yeah it's so good Gabby it's says, so, I haven't watched yeah. WWE since the early 2000s. I definitely need a recap over the last 24 years. <laughs> there you go. So that's, Seth, that's Seth's homework he's going to make. I, mean, I don't, uh, again, I've thought about that maybe one of our shorts a week could be, uh, it would be fun to do, like, just a re- like, I just talk about what's happened this week and what I think is going to happen. Yeah. 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 Hey, look what we so, got. We got uh, hey. our, our uh, one of our YouTube members. Hello mm-hmm. there for three months. Yes. Perfect timing, waking up from my nap. Yeah, <laughs> the man's always grinding, so he's got to get his sleep in. We're, where he can. we're a good thing to wake up to. Let's be oh. honest. So yeah. Anyway, but that, that was WrestleMania. That's insane. Yes, that's insane. Everyone's picking him up. I guess the last thing I need to say is uh, he Cody won the belt that his dad never won. Okay, there's a thing called his dad was Dusty Rhodes. Uh, okay. There was a thing called the Dusty Finish. Gotcha. It, it earned its name because uh, back in the day. Dusty won the title, but he he won by via disqualification, and the title doesn't change his, change hands. Okay, and so he technically won, but he never actually got to have the title. And unfortunately, Dusty Rhodes passed away a couple years ago, so he presented his mother with the title. Oh, and so that's it sweet. was again crazy feel good moment. Really, really good. All right. I feel like I would need. I'm, I'm, I'm with Gabby here. I need like the MCU recap. Again, of like, <laughs> uh, maybe I can do like Luis in Ant Man. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I guess you guys you all up. Those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. I, I saw a little wrestling last weekend too. Yeah. Yeah. And my Midwest Gaming Classic, they had a little amateur wrestling ring really? that was going on the whole time. I yeah. I'll admit, was, I couldn't watch. It oh, was just, that bad, huh? It was it was rough. I, I gotcha. have I, I have an allergy to cringe more I, so oh, than most people. Okay, I got gotcha. like, I mean, how do you put up with a sh- with me on the show then? I, how do I put up with myself? That's oh, the okay, that's the I issue. Gotcha. Like yeah. I gotta edit these things, <laughs> yes. and I'm like, okay, yeah. we're moving on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just uh, disable my camera during the edit. That's what I, gotcha. that's what I do. No, that sounds fun. Mm-hmm. So what I did, I know we're like kind of just going off the rails, but mine's mine's more Star Wars centric. So yeah. hopefully, you know, I won't. Uh, Although I don't know, I was captivated by Seth. So hopefully that the, the beyond beyond the Dune Sea, it leaves the room open. It was supposed to be that. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> yeah, like leaves the door open to talk about this other stuff, right? And we could talk about the other things we're interested <laughs> in too. Yeah. So okay, the last bad thing. batch is not going to have a dusty finish. No way. Like, <laughs> no way. <laughs> They're coming out on tap. <laughs> so. Yeah, before we get right into the yeah. Bad Batch, because a little light of an episode as far as like discussion goes, it's but true. we have other Star Wars things to talk about too. Yep. But I went to the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee. 
you guys know me i'm more the more the video game guy seth's likes to likes the tabletop stuff yeah. i went with a few of my friends um and i'll just i'll show you my haul because i got some cool stuff i was looking to uh complete some sets so basically the way i collect video games is i have like a series that i collect not uh, so legend of zelda for example i like i try to be a completionist with zelda um or pokemon right I also with Star Wars. So I've been doing a console at a time. So I just finished Game Boy, just finished Game Boy Advance, and I moved on to the PSP. Uh, um, and I was, these games I played a lot of. You know, uh, uh, Anakin has a PSP in episode three. He does. He does. It's <laughs> great. It looks like an oversized Game Boy Advance, yeah. actually. <laughs> but uh, I was looking for uh, PSP games mostly just because i played the ds versions of this so a little little fun fact i'll show you the games first and i'll tell you about them because if you've never heard of these so first things first boom Woo! battlefront 2 everybody Classic. knows this one it's great the psp yeah. port's actually really good it's got some extra modes in it and stuff where you can do like movie battles and things um so this obviously great pickup i'm not super fond of the fact that it's greatest hits but Virgin. it was also the cheapest one that i could find yeah and it's also for you uh video game nuts out there it is complete yeah. oh and it's got the see the manual yeah the manual. that's always nice i'm not that big of a you know i'm not i'm not that nerdy i guess you could say <laughs> but uh that is nice to have everything that's what the that's what we call in the industry a CIB complete in box complete in box okay so it's complete in box and it's NIB which is new in box which gotcha. I don't have any of those the yeah. next one Renegade Squadron Ooh. so the PSP got two more Battlefront games after Battlefront two yeah one of them which I'm, I'll talk about next was actually Battlefront three I don't know which one of these came out first I'll be honest but Battlefront three was like that was the unicorn right after Battlefront two came out. It was in development, like we knew it was in development, but then a lot of st rocky stuff happened with uh, Lucas Arts, and it basically came out as this ne this next one we're gonna talk about. But this one I don't know much about; I never played this one. It says on the back that you play an untold story uh, of the rebellion as part of Han Solo's Renegade Squadron. Ooh, okay. So you know you got Han on the front, and then Boba Fett. Yeah, so cool. Also CIB. Wow. So, yeah, good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. But then this next one is the one I'm most excited to play because I played it on the DS. So what happened a lot of times is like if there was a PSP port, they would put it on the DS as well as like yeah. lower quality. Elite Squadron. This one's a little harder to find. Um, and basically this this was Battlefront 3. So a lot of Battlefront 3 mechanics that they wanted to do was like seamless space to ground combat. Yeah. That's they, in that game? Kind of. Okay. They kind of do that. There's they a have little, like a tiny loading screen. You gotta yeah, do. like an invisible loading screen. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing about this is the story. So the story is about you play as a two or, or as a clone X two and his and his brother is X one. They're clones of Jedi and they're training the. They're the ones who were put in charge of training the clone battalions. So they're not clones of Jango Fett, but they wear like clone armor. Yeah. So as the story goes, like one of them becomes evil, one of them's good, and then you kind of fight at the end. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I did play this on uh, also CIB. Um, I did play this on the DS and I it, like Russia memories. I was like, oh shoot, like this is a, uh, I remember this. I remember this story. Yeah. So excited to get back into this. And then another one that I kind of forgot about Lethal Alliance. I don't even know what that is. I know, right? I was, I was doing some research on PSP games. I, just, I tried to find the hardest to find ones because there's like Lego Star Wars and other things that yeah. I can find locally pretty easily. Lethal Alliance. And none of these games are particularly expensive, by yeah. the way. They're just, you don't see them all the time. Yeah. Uh, you got to go to like a convention to find these things. Another CIB copy. But this game wow. is uh, here. I'll actually read from the manual. This cracked me up reading about it. Cause I, you play as like a Twilight bounty hunter and uh, you, uh, I'll just read what it says. The story in the years between episodes three and four, princess Leia proposes a dangerous quest to secure the future of the rebel Alliance. She enlists the deadly duo of Twi'lek Rihanna Saren and her security droid Zeo together. Rihanna and Zeo must infiltrate empire controlled planets by legions of evil fiends and steal the plans for the most destructive weapon in the galaxy, the death star. So it's like the fifth thing about that. But the funny thing is Kyle Katarn is actually in this. So that gotcha. was like the first story, right? Yeah, With Dark Forces. Yeah, oh yeah, Dark, yeah. <laughs> so I remember vaguely playing this on DS and really liking it. Okay. So well, that's cool. Yeah, I'm kind of planning, I guess I can say it. It's not like it's a secret. Um, I'm planning to do like Star Wars on the Game Boy, Star Wars on the Game Boy Advance, and then Star Wars on the PSP, Working like covering, like covering, like videos, dedicated videos covering these. That's why I've been collecting all these. Yeah. Um, 
So, and then the last thing I got, not super interesting, but Force Unleashed 2 on DS. That's another one I'm trying to complete. You like those games. I love these games. I actually mm-hmm. never played this one on DS. I played Force Unleashed 1 on DS, but yeah. uh, I've never played this particular port. So gotcha. that was the Star Wars things that, I did. Is that CIB? No. <sighs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> no. But I actually wasn't going to buy this because uh, the uh, the cart's kind of gross too. But we were, I was at a booth with one of my friends and he was like, $3. And I was like, three bucks, man. I can't. Can't pass that up. Fine. You know, yeah. so I picked it up. Okay. Because uh, I haggled. That's the one fun thing about conventions. I haggled everything. So I bought all three of the Battlefront games, $10 a piece. Mm-hmm. Lethal Alliance, 15 bucks. I think sticker price was like 18 on Lethal Alliance. But it was like... 15 or so per battlefront game and because i bundled them up yeah i like hey we take 30 for all sure yeah and so pretty cool i was pretty excited about that Mm -hmm. um first gaming convention i ever went to just a fun thing i don't know if anybody knows who this is but if anybody's familiar with retro rick he's a big video game uh uh youtuber uh i i like ran into him like literally i i knew he was gonna be there and so i brought some uh, power rangers cards from like when I was a kid, I've tried to sell them before, but they never sold. They, they're not really worth anything, but I know him and his son from his videos are really in to that. And, and as soon as we got to the convention, it was huge. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to see him because this place is massive. Yeah. But then I was in the first aisle and I literally brushed up against him. I turned and I was like, Hey, I watch your videos. And he's like, I knew I liked you. <laughs> but then we were actually walking the convention at kind of the same pace. So we just chatted He's a really cool. nice guy. That's like, cool. Really and you nice. gave him the cards? Yeah. Okay. He right thought on. that was really nice. He was like, yeah. are you sure, man? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Like, that's so nice. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you know, you'll yeah. get more out of it. I'm sure you and your son will enjoy them a lot more than me. Because he's got, in his videos, like a nostalgia room. That's his whole thing. He's oh, okay. just like, you know, all this stuff is like displayed and stuff. Gotcha. So. Okay. Well, that's cool. Cool dude, though. Yeah. It was nice nice to, to meet him. Because I enjoy his videos. He's a uh, wholesome dude. Yeah. Anyway, that was MGC. So good stuff, good yeah. stuff. But we're like thirty minutes into this, we haven't even talked about Bad Batch. No, we haven't. <laughs> um, checking in with you guys for a minute. Yeah, Star Wars this says, "Wow, you racked up." I did. It was great. I highly recommend Tony. I don't know if you've ever been to a video game convention. That was pretty cool. Like, because we just went to Comic Con. Like, is it, it's obvious just by the nature of it, but it's just video games, and like, it's just cool to go booth to booth everybody's just got games yeah i was actually surprised by the prices too i thought they'd be ridiculous few booths were but yeah. a lot of them were really reasonable yeah and everybody haggled so mm-hmm. that was really cool really awesome so bad batch the, juggernaut the juggernaut hit me one minute review what do you got um so the juggernaut was fine I mean, it really felt like the chessboard is getting placed, like all the pieces are getting set up. Um, we did have a cool action set piece, and that was fine. And then we also set up what was going on with Omega. But like all in all, it was just all right. I feel like this is the last throwaway episode, though. I feel like from here on out, it's it's game time. Got you. Yeah. Okay. How about you? So I realize that I'm in the minority on this one because I've, I've tuned in. I usually don't tune into our fellow content creators videos to not bias my own opinion, yeah, but yeah, because definitely. we were live today, I like, yeah. was like, oh, I'll kind of no, check I mean, out. I'll admit there's two guys I watch just to make sure that there's something I didn't catch. Gotcha. And more than likely, like nine times out of 10, I got it. Like, yeah. like I got it on lockdown. Yeah. The, so I'm I, real bad about yeah. like unconsciously pulling. Um, I try to credit yeah, where I no, can. I you know, so to, I just, I just don't see watch. My notes there. It's like, I'm talking to you, <laughs> but I did it. I, I tuned into star Wars time show. Yeah. I watched, uh, I was able to catch a little bit of the, uh, dark side secrets. Yeah. Um, and who's the, uh, Eck, Eckhart. I yeah. watched uh, some of his shorts too. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people think that this was filler. You too. It seems like you say, use the word throwaway. I mean, Again, uh, it was weird because it like moved a mile a minute because like yeah. there was some weird stuff with like all of a sudden cutting to the, they're at the juggernaut basically. Yeah. Or like um, you see the uh, you see the bad batch like they open the thing. The guys go up to them and then Wrecker's just inside already. Like it's weird that they're moving. They're they're showing us this cool thing, but they're skipping through things, too, that they could be showing. It's just it's interesting what they decide to do and what they didn't decide to show. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. But anyway, continue. I just found it interesting. A lot of people thought that this was more filler content. And I 
I mean, it's setting the game board. That's the whole thing. No, I, I the, but yeah. I thought that there were great character moments. Like I loved the beginning with with Omega. Yeah. Again, like you said, setting that that up. But yeah. then you get some really great stuff with Crosshair. I feel like uh, it's revealed. Oh, he knew how to get to Tantus this whole time, or knew how to find out. Yeah. But just doesn't want to go back. Yeah, we didn't want to go back. So you, that's a lot of you know. There's some stuff there. Yeah. And then the Juggernaut stuff itself was really fun. Yeah. Um. And then the ending, I thought, was a really like we finally got the last piece of the puzzle mm-hmm. when it came to uh, Omega Hemlock and that whole situation. So I yeah. I didn't see this as like a filler. I didn't wasn't think my it was favorite bad. episode. No, no, yeah. wasn't, wasn't my favorite episode of the uh-huh. season. But I mean, just to get into my five takeaways, like kind of what you said, this is the last. This is our last hurrah. This is the last time I think we're having fun. Yeah, like where our where our guys are having fun. Yeah doing what they do best they're doing these covert ops you know they're doing like they're stealing admiral rampart out of a juggernaut right yeah like it's cool that this he's is back yeah we'll talk yeah. about him oh, yeah. but uh i i think that this was kind of the last time we're gonna see these guys have an adventure of the week yeah uh and it's kind of bittersweet in that way where but a little small moment but when Crosshair goes up to that door with Wrecker. He's like, "You remember Plan Fifty Five? And yeah. he's like, "Oh yeah, waiting on you." You know, it's uh, yeah. They got that rapport. Yeah, the healing has been done with the team, and now we get to have one last low stakes. I mean, there's high stakes, but you know what I mean. Like, it's just yeah. we're just we're kind of having fun as a team. Yeah, you could tell that each member of the batch, they're not as melancholy as they've been in the past few episodes. They kind of. Yeah, they're ha- they're in their groove. Yeah, and I think this is the last time we're going to see that, mm-hmm. which is really really bittersweet. Yeah, kind of like what Tails saying here. I'd say it's more of a palate cleanser. I enjoyed this episode a ton. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is kind of a palate cleanser. It's to get you ready. Yeah, it's to get you ready. But like I said a few episodes ago, I think that whereas in like a season two, this might have been more of a filler. They sprinkle in a lot of those character moments to make it really worthwhile, in my yeah. opinion. I got you. Um. So yeah. Um, I guess you mentioned it before Rampart. That was kind of yeah, a surprise. It was, it was really weird that like, cause you know, you'd assume that he'd be dead. Yeah. yeah. That the empire and killed him. The, yes. That the empire killed him. I know him. Star Wars yeah. time show had a huge problem with that. They were oh, like, what is they, wrong with you? Why did they kill him? Yeah. It is odd. I don't, I don't understand, but I'm curious to see what kind of, cause you know, he's gonna, it almost feels like uh, Batman bringing the Joker along on a mission. You know that he's. No, you're good. You're okay, good. I was just right. like, I know some of the light. That's all. It's oh, a, it's okay. a good, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's almost like Batman bringing the Joker along on a mission. So like, I got you. Okay. Yeah, that it's like, I think that he's going to somehow get some sort of laugh during this mission. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Mm-hmm. But I like that voice actor. Yeah, I just that learned. Like, he plays Bo Kuna in Star Wars Survivor. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I, di- I didn't know that either. I just like his voice. I think it's great. So yeah. there you go. I was uh, uh, looking for stuff for the episode um pulling pulling clips and stuff Mm -hmm. and i noticed that i was like this guy sounds so familiar i just i can't place it yeah looked it up sure enough bodakuna okay (laughs) um yeah i don't have too much more to say about rampart other than kind of like you i'm kind of it's it's a wait and see thing with him yeah he looks sick with the beard you know it's a good look on him yeah uh but yeah i'm curious to see where that goes and it is very interesting that the empire didn't kill him that's another kind of wait and see thing for me because yeah. it's like he is a huge liability. Yeah. So why not go ahead and take him off the board? Why yeah. keep him? So I, my philosophy with this stuff is always like, let's wait and see. But if they never get around to answering that question, I am going to be left like, the, what was the point? Why did you keep him around? You guys are ruthless. Yeah. So. You could um, have had a public execution and people would have been all about that. So I guess with Crosshair, we've been talking a little bit about him too. Yeah. Um, his hesitation, you yeah. know, about going to Tantus. Yeah. And that's like, I was going to say his shake. Yeah. He's really from Tantus. That's interesting, right? Yeah. We, it's more confirmation than it is in his head. Yes. Talk about that for a minute. I'm going to grab something off my desk. Okay. Yeah. I think the, uh, the, the thing that, so I guess the, uh, the thing that I'm worried about is how, uh, um, how is he going to actually be able to function when he's on Tantus? Does that make any kind of sense? that uh what's going on what are we doing okay don't worry about okay, it. okay fine, just, fine, fine, fine. all right fine 
Okay. Uh, is that just that, uh, how's he going to function on Tantus? I mean, is he going to act like, I, I wonder, are we going to actually get that like paint it black moment <laughs> where like, you know, he just, okay, I got to Zen up because I am, uh, uh, my friends are in trouble and I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do. And, no, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. I'm good. So, I'm good. I was just, yeah. I was looking so like, I was like a ghost over there. My yeah. color temp on my <laughs> light. I Sorry. I know that kind of was like a very unprofessional of me but i was like <laughs> it's all right <laughs> i was like looking at you i'm like man look you look like uh your your tan you know and everything's going on there with you like good, good stuff and yeah. i'm looking at my camera i'm like man why do i look so pasty i gotcha just the light was strong well it wasn't strong it was on the wrong color temp gotcha so, anyway okay. well you got a little behind the dune sea on that one right gotcha there. yeah <laughs> sorry behind about that. the dune sea my favorite <laughs> yeah no i'm with you it's kind of yeah the thing that I caught with him was that this crosshairs is, is kind of more of a selfish character, right? And so in now in context, we can look back at like that scene toward the beginning of the season where they're all around that table and Echo's like, hey, what do you know about Tantus? And he just kind of looks away. He knows. He knows a way to get there, but he's like, I, I, it's not worth the risk for me. I'm not yeah. going to do it. All right, everybody, all my family's here. Sorry. Like yeah. the other clones, they, they're yeah. on their own. But Sorry. now- He's got something to fight for. It's true. Omega's gone. Yeah. Uh, and I think that Omega being like the the hinge on which each of the Bad Batch's characters have evolved is such, an, such a great idea. Mm -hmm. Not a unique idea, but it's a great... I think what makes it unique is you have five people that are kind of hinging their growth. Five dads. Yeah. <laughs> that are hinging their growth off of Omega's yeah. character. Mm -hmm. She has made each one of them better. Yeah, and now we see Crosshair. He's he's got to fight for it now. Yeah, I think that's great. And also, we saw this thing that's in his head, his shaky hand. Yes, he's uh, he goes into that room with the magnetically sealed. Yes, right. How cool is that? It was awesome. No need for mirrors. No need for you know. He's bounced things off. Uh, he's bounced shots off things before, yeah. like, but he's had to throw them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to do that here. And it was like the trash compactor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got Your caught that too. Your magnetically sealed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, I didn't catch that. Oh, you didn't? I didn't know. I didn't catch the magnetically sealed yeah, connection. Yeah, that's why he could. Yeah, that's why he could bounce everything around the room. Gotcha. Yeah. So that makes so much more sense because I wondered when he said that. I thought he was talking about the door, but then he immediately opened it. I was yeah, like, and that's what was the issue. So, yeah, so he could. Gotcha. <laughs> yep. Just ricochet. Okay, it gives me there. a little bit more appreciation for that. That's yeah. nice. No, it's cool. I was. I also noticed later he knocks Rampart's gun out of his hand. Yeah. And it's like the guy's hitting his shots. Yeah. You know, because he, he has something to fight well, for. Well, that's what I was going to say is now he's got a goal. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I'm curious what happens when they actually get when to When they Tantus. go to Tantus. Because yes. unfortunately, Bad Batch has done it again. The biggest negative for this show is their trailers. Yes. They put out a little teaser this week mm -hmm. and the last shot, they're clearly on Tantus. There's a few, but the last shot in particular, they're clearly on Tantus. Yeah. It's a sick shot though. I will say where they're like both flying through the air. I haven't watched it. You didn't watch the trailer? No. Oh, I just ruined it for you. Sorry. It's all right. I know they're going to Tantus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do it. That's the whole point. Yeah. I just, it's yeah. a bummer. I wish they wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Crosshair, I love, I mean, we've said it a million times. He's the best part of the show. Yes. hundred percent. Yeah. So not much to talk about with the juggernaut. It's fun. That's connection to Rogue One, you know, and Jen or so. That's what she was well, on. It didn't feel like Mando. Yeah, that too. That I episode mean, with a Migs. Yes, I was going to say. I mean, what, I think it's episode 15, whatever, The Passenger, whatever. Chapter that, 15. Yeah. Chapter 15, whatever. That, uh, I mean, it was that. They're fighting on top of it. They were throwing people off. I mean, yeah. like, even you got your Indiana Jones reference, I feel like, a little bit. Yeah, with, with, the, like, with, yep. the, yeah, with yep. the guy getting crushed, like, on the side of the tank. I mean, yeah. No, it was, I mean, what the show has been known for, for yeah. since season one, it's great action set pieces. Yeah. And you had, did you feel like the animation was turned up too at that point? Yeah. I felt it, like the contrast was better. I thought that like the, the yeah, volumetric fog and like the smoke effects I thought were excellent. And I thought that too, that just how they moved yeah. was looking real, uh, real fluid. Basically. Uh, I completely agree. It mm -hmm. was, yeah. Looked really good. Yeah. I mean, what's weird to me is that this was the choice to make like, the bulk of that first trailer yeah so they've had this element done for a while yes so that's kind of interesting i wonder just if i could peer behind the curtain i wonder if like 
they came up with this scene, animated it first, and like found and a way to use ways it around it. Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't surprise me if they maybe. did that. It was like a proof of concept, or maybe maybe that's another lost Clone Wars animation that they beefed up. Yeah, they've done that a few times in the course of the show. Yeah, um, that's really interesting. Yeah. So the other half of this, even though it was only kind of your stinger at the beginning and the end, is with yeah. Omega. Yes. And so we get the final piece of the puzzle here, which is confirming what we all suspected. Right? We got a little bit last week where Hemlock kind of spells everything out, but now it's one hundred percent confirmed. Yeah. Like. It's not that Omega has high M counts, none of that. She's the binder that will allow Palpatine's clones to be force sensitive. Yes. Did you get a little with Emery? Did you get a little Luke and Vader? Where it's like, you know, you don't have mm. to do this, Emery. Ah. Did you kind of get that or no? Not in this episode. I mean, I know that that's probably coming, but that's yeah. a good, that's a good. I mean, like up. with her, like going in and sitting down and everything and her just being like, you know, you don't have to do this. Mm. And her being like, yes, I do. You know, like that is like, I mean, that right. feels so much like Return of the Jedi. Mm. That's a good, that's a good yeah. call out. It's a great so, call out. You know, it is poetry. Yeah. It does rhyme. It's like poetry. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, so a question that I, I wrote down, I, I immediately wrote the answer to it, but I just think it's a fascinating line of conversation. Yeah. He says that I, I apologize. I didn't write the quote down. I meant to, but he says something to the effect of uh, hemlock. says something to the effect of this with the small sample of her blood, they've already tested it and they were able to maintain midichlorian levels. Yeah. The begs the question, who is he talking about? Like yeah. they have some clones. So then I asked like, Oh wait, are the children clones? I, I don't I, the answer is no to that no. uh but that's an interesting line of questioning because it's like then who is he talking about and i think we have the answer i think it's those dark troopers that we saw in the last episode you know that was on his tablet like the yeah. upgraded clone x's gotcha. so my guess Are they force sensitive that's my thought because he tells clone x like hey you know the other guys aren't ready to be out in the field yet maybe because they don't have enough of omega samples but now they have her again yeah so now I bet the main force that we're going that the batch is going to have to deal with when they get to Tantus a, are these guys. these guys. And so theory here, they're going to all run out, you know, yeah. and there's going to be more of them. Oh shoot. And then all of a sudden they're going to start levitating, force choking, all that stuff. And now we have four sensitive clones to deal with. Yeah. That that's, that's insane. Where I, that's where I think this is going. Yeah. And so another thing that I thought of um is okay, let's tie this back to the Ventress episode. Yeah. Why do all that with Omega? Why give her the training? If you're going to then go to the links the next few episodes to be like, nah, she's not force sensitive. We've yeah. speculated that maybe she'll get juiced up with midichlorians or yeah. something. I think now the answer is she's going to train the children while she's there to well, like pass on what Ventress taught her. It's like leading her, uh, leading other people to a treasure that she cannot possess. You yeah. Know? I mean, I think that that was like Hemlock's like big. That's like he should have never ever introduced Omega to those children. Like right. that's it's it. going to be like, his it, undoing. It, it, checkmate. Sorry about that. Yeah. You just like well, in in doing that, that's going to cause checkmate on his side. I guarantee it. So do you think then that she will try to train these children how to use the Force? Maybe I don't know. We don't they have some Force sensitivity already? Well, they have high M counts. Yes, they do. Right. But so they don't know what they're doing yet with it. But. That was the whole thing with Ventress. Is she tested Omega? She's like, so if she you knows have a high, to, yeah, you'd be able to do these things. Yeah, so, oh, that's interesting. If you have a high M count, I'm going to put you through these tests. So maybe Omega now that she, she's locked in that room with these guys, yeah, she's going to say, hey, I learned this. I will now teach you this. Yeah, because she learned a little bit from Gunji, right, with the meditation and stuff. Yes. And now with these kids, that that's where my mind's going. Is like she's going to pass on everything she's learned. Now all the threads are converging because yeah. we we even said in that Ventress episode, like, okay, maybe when all the pieces are laid we'll get what what the purpose of this was yeah maybe that's it maybe it's not so omega can use the force but that so that she can pass on what she has learned that'd be pretty cool I, i'd be all right with that it's kind of interesting right it is. i think it's kind of cool so yeah. um yeah i'm kind of i don't have much more to say about this episode yeah um I'm just looking at my stuff really quick and making sure that i have uh because what's what's next week called I have a I have a list here. I can look for it. I mean, you you're still in the camp that there's no way Tex coming back, right? Oh no, he's done. He's I gone. mean, again, he's it dead. was weird because they showed his glasses again, and it's like, why are they doing that? Why are they like they showed his it? glasses? It again? was in the background when they brought him up for a hot second when she was talking about brown eyes. I trust you. 
I trust brown eyes, oh. so I trust you. You could see his glasses. And it's like... Yeah, because they were sitting there. Right. Yeah. So it just... It's weird. I think that's just a visual cue. I don't know. It I, makes again, me like... I don't know. Like, it's just weird. I just... Well, I mean, Tech is still a part of the story, even if he, he can still be dead and be a part of the yes. narrative. Yeah, I know. Um, and it makes sense that Fee would want to reference him because yes. she was close to him. Yeah. So... I think it is way too late in the season to pick that thread up. back up. That would yeah. be so out of nowhere. Yeah. If he just randomly came just back. shows up. I'm trying to find... I know I have a, a list of what this next week's episode is called. Give me just a second. I, I know I have it here. Here they are. So next week is called Into the Breach. So that's interesting. And then we have Flash Strike and the Calvary has arrived for the final episode. Gotcha. So I think... Is next week two episodes? No, it's just okay. one. So I think that if I had to guess next week, we really are laying the chessboard. It's it's yeah. Deathly Hallows part one. Yeah. Right. It's like you're getting everybody in play. Yeah. And then I wouldn't be surprised if episode 14 flash strike the penultimate episode ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Like an insane cliffhanger. Like yeah. maybe someone dies. Like Palpatine showing up. Or Palpatine showing up, yeah. or maybe that's it for uh, maybe Wreckers out of the game. You know yeah. who knows? Mm -hmm. And then Calvary has arrived. I mean, we're in for insanity, right? Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I'm yes. excited. I like I said, I didn't really view this episode as filler, but they're also. I mean, I get it. There's not not a ton to chew on, but yeah. not every episode needs to. Yeah, you need to have your peaks, and I wouldn't even call this a value. You need to have a breathing moment. It's true. You know, we can catch your breath and get ready for the next big thing. Yes. Um, I thought this episode did that well. I really, I really enjoyed it. I, yeah. I mean, that to be real, it just, it was really good. Okay. Um, but that was not the only piece of Star Wars content that we got this yeah. past week. We got two other pieces of Star Wars content. What else we get? We got the Star Wars Outlaws trailer. Ooh. So that's the game by Ubisoft that's coming yeah. out pretty soon. Um, yeah. I, what August, did I say? Right? August or October. We'll find out because, yeah. hey. You know, R2, pull, pull up the trailer for us. Don't argue with me. Just pull up the trailer. Do it, buddy. Just, I swear. Come on, man. Brother. Thank you. Okay. So how do I, you how do I get this to the people? Like you're Tony Stark. You gotta, I, uh, I don't understand. So I just. Yeah. You push. R2, is that, is that right? So, oh, okay. Okay. Push and it. then, and then we just. Pushed. Hey, there okay. you go. You Sorry. Did it. I'm like, I know. I'm technologically just You got it though. Stupid. You got us Let there. me um uh, You got us there. I'll make this a little bigger. What are you here for, R2, if you're not doing any of this stuff for me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I actually don't know how to make this bigger. Okay. Well, they're gonna have to bear with us then. Wait. Is this how we do it? No? No. That's, that's Try clicking on that. Yeah. Can you make that bigger? that hey there, there we you go. go yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of scrub through here a little bit yeah uh, well before, before we go quite into that I'll, I'll catch up with the chat sorry about that guys i just i get too excited and then r2's arguing with me and just i'm like my goodness yeah hey something i noticed during my breakdowns i think this was the first time and look at me continuing to be unprofessional there we go uh, I think this was the first time in two to three weeks we saw his hand. <clears throat> Did we see it last couple? Who's? Crosshair, like shaking his shaking his hand. Uh, I mean, it shook. It shook with uh, with Ventress training. Yeah, but then the next, well, on our double drop last week, did we see? I mean, wasn't it shaking when he when he missed the shots? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I might not have showed it specifically, but. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's a good call. I don't think we will see Clone X again. His job is done. Oh, oh no. Oh no. We'll Come see on. Him. He's gotta he's gotta have a showdown. I mean, he's already fought Crosshair once. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. He's one of our like personal antagonists, I exactly. think. Exactly. Um, yes. He's Emery will be the key to escape from the vault. Oh, yes. Completely definitely, agree. Definitely. No different than I am your father moment at the end of T uh Empire Strikes Back. Tech could show up. Nah. Nah. See, the thing okay, I'm gonna pull that back up because that's the I am your father thing subverts expectations in a way like that is set up the entire movie. Yeah. Like I'm going to learn the ways of the force and become a Jedi like my father. Yeah. He gets to Yoda like uh, yeah. talking about his father, like oh, your father, powerful Jedi was he, mm -hmm. uh, how could you know my father? You know, it's built up to the entire movie. Yeah. They're not sowing the seeds at all for a, 
for a twist like that. That would Guess just be who's a, back. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I gotcha. Because it also wouldn't serve the same narrative purpose. Like Vader telling Luke that he is his father completely breaks down everything that Luke knows about himself. Yeah, that he was trying to do. Tech coming back would just be, oh, what? No, no boy, you were you're back. Uh, no, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. it, right? It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't break down the batch's characters. Yeah, it's sad, but yeah. it doesn't inform on what we've already been coming to know throughout their journey yeah like especially look at crosshair as the protagonist for example because we've seen the most of him in omega how does tech coming back affect their personal character arcs that we've been seeing it gives them a moment sure yeah. i mean but they're not like crosshair learning to accept himself he hasn't even been direct now if earlier in the season a lot of blame would have been put on crosshair for tech's death yeah then That'd maybe you get something but that that's not even been brought up gotcha that's where I'm at anyway. Gotcha. So, Outlaws trailer. I'm just going to scrub through a little bit. Let me get my uh, thing here. So, I mean, it looks like... It's neat looking. Yeah, I mean, we I'll got like... I'm not going to play the whole trailer just because I don't know like if I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the graphics look pretty good. I mean, that's the one thing about Ubisoft. I, I've been an Assassin's Creed fan for a while, even yeah. though they kind of tarnished that brand. Yeah. Uh, but they always just make good looking good games, looking stuff. pretty yeah. good looking stuff. Yeah. Uh, now I am worried about microtransactions, all that stuff. Of course, it's Star but Wars. I said this before. I think <laughs> yeah. at the worst we're going to get bland competence, which yeah, is not a super not the worst bar I've ever yeah. seen. Right? Hey, hey wait, wait a minute. Hey, who was that? Who was that? I don't know how you. Hold on. How do I? Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Hey, right there. And they even say Crimson Dawn. I mean that that to me. That looks like Kira, right? Don't you think? I don't know if this person looks like Kira. Although she is wearing, she's wearing the Crimson Dawn thing. Yeah, I know we. She has been confirmed for this game. Kira yeah. is going to be in the game. She's not going to be voiced by Emily Clark. Yeah. Or, yeah. So. Yeah. But that looks like Kira to me. I think this seems interesting. I like this idea of like yeah. uh, Star Wars Underworld, and you're you're playing with the different. Uh, I mean, it looks like. It's an looks uh looks lived in yeah you know, it's another thing that you're working with the different uh syndicates and stuff like that and then we have man i suck at this my pausing game is just not on point here yeah yeah we have kves so yeah. that's our main character she's kind of like han solo a roguish type i, gotcha. I think that's interesting yeah like a lot of the so we've had the jedi series with cal Kestis, so being able to play as a force I know you're user saying it's not but this feels like jedi survivor or jedi outcast when you're but you're you're not a Jedi, if that makes sense. That's what this looks like to me. Really? Yeah. It done to me. Okay. I mean, visually, I guess it's similar because, I mean, it's they're both set in Star Wars. But yeah. Cal has, like, a personal journey that right? yeah. he has to go on. So, like, from a story perspective, it's a Force user. I, I guess more I'm mystics. talking more just, like, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing with oh, my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. It looks course. like it, gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah, would be kind yeah. Of similar, yeah. The, the main difference that it's, it's, it's exciting is, like, this is open world. Yeah. Whereas Survivor and fallen order linear. they're like they're pretty linear you yeah. have some open open areas but pretty yeah. linear so this is really exciting i think um and also being set between rotj like there's a there's a shot here hold on there he is yeah we get there he Job is the that's cool i don't care what anybody says and like then there's a uh, where's that there's a cool shot that everybody's been talking about where's it at oh this guy yeah we need this guy Gosh, I am just terrible. I cannot pause at the right times. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that the parkour. Pause. I mean that's what every time. <laughs> every yeah, time. that's what reminds me kind of of, of Jedi Survivor. Pause. Can we do it? Here's the, here's the new game we're playing. Pause. That, you did it. No. <laughs> Wait, I made it full screen, so it's gonna yeah. like okay. <laughs> yeah, him. He's my favorite. <laughs> this guy. Gosh dang it. He's my dude. Yeah. I'm trying to get a commando. Yeah, this guy, thank okay, you. Yeah, 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 we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> he looks cool. I like him. Yeah. He looks awesome. Yes. Um, you're talking about that you see Han and Carbonite. That's who you're getting at. That's what I'm trying to find. I don't yeah. remember where it's, it's at in the trailer. It's the end, isn't it? I don't know. Somewhere. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Or is it the part where like you actually see Jabba the Hutt? I thought it was. Yeah, right at the beginning or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Maybe your, we're, we're, he looks awesome, though, I think. Yeah, that's exciting. I just... Yeah. I'm a whatever. So when does this take place? Between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's a good time in Star Wars. Why can I not find this shot? Am I dumb, guys? Like, what in the world? Where's it at? 
I mean, it must be a blink and you miss it kind of thing. I mean, you're not going to be able to stop on it. You've already proven that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seth, uh, is it there now that you're back in Jabba the Hutt's area also there does that look like I can't tell is that that looks like it could be back nah. in Jabba's palace this I was gonna be... ask too see I'm not very good it's at all before this. we see Jabba okay gosh everybody's tuning out because they're like what an idiot yeah, why can't you just like what is going on with you guys yeah oh no oh no so wait is it like really toward the beginning like now this is just a personal endeavor. Yeah, here's not Kyle Katarn. What do you want? <laughs> the Pikes. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's cool. There, there we go. Finally, uh, we like, got there in the end. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> sick, though. I mean, I like that he's there. And yeah. then also, uh, is she on Kajimi? I don't know. It looks like that they're on Kajimi. She might be. Yeah, that's you know who we could see. Babu Frick. Babu Frick. Yeah, my, my dude. dude like <laughs> Some Anzellans. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, I, yeah. I think this looks cool. I'm yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah. Uh I'm a I I think it's probably just foregone we're gonna see Luke. You think so? It's just a slam dunk. Like, why not? Yeah. Right? Like they did it in Battlefront 2. Why not do it here? Yeah. It'd be kind of cool to see him in that between era. I'm not a big fan of what the comics are doing with yeah, him. Yeah, it's but, insane, but it makes sense that Kira's in here because she's doing all kinds of stuff yeah, during that yeah. era. Yeah. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if we see everybody. Like, if we see, we get a Leia cameo and yeah. stuff. I if you're doing the Underworld, get Boba Fett and, in there. And we're on get Tatooine. Forlum, yeah, yes. well, I mean, we're on Tatooine. Yeah. I just think that... Get Forlum, get Zuckus, get Boss, get Dengar, IG-88. Get them all in there. Like, yeah. that'd be sick. And I know what people will say. It's like, the galaxy, you know, that makes uh, the galaxy too small a place, right? But then put Cad Bane in there. Dude. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I didn't, didn't think, about, think that. about that. I didn't even think about that. You even, your, your boy could be in there. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just like, why set it in between a period where we know everybody? Yeah. And why do it on Tatooine for the most part? It's yeah. just like, why really, not? Let have fun. Like, let's see our boys. Let's jo see. Let's see. I will say, I thought Job of the Hut sounded awesome. Yeah. Because I yeah. feel like some, I don't know, like on some of like the re like special editions and stuff like that. I don't think he sounds that cool. Okay. But like, yeah, gotcha. this like felt like Return of the Jedi, Job of the Hut, like good stuff. Yeah, so it yeah. looks like look at that, like the, the volumetric stuff. It just yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I wish I'm, I cared more. That's a sarlacc, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh I'm down. I yeah. think that it, it looks cool. I think it sounds cool. Yeah, and that's like again, I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan. I for the most part, I enjoy, I enjoy Ubisoft's formula. Um, I think, uh. Sometimes they get a little ridiculous with like the collectibles and, but in Star Wars, I think that could be fun. I yeah. mean, if you play that right, collecting not holocrons, but I don't know, yeah, something, Credits, something, yeah, something, right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that that could be really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, like in the old Force, the Force Unleashed games, like you were collecting lightsaber crystals. That was one of the collectibles. Yeah. So I think that because I'm a diehard Star Wars fan, that formula could be really fun in yeah. something like Outlaws. Uh, get in the parkour i just assassin's creed in space i'm just i'm here for that i'm yeah. curious to see what kind of vehicle stuff we'll get yeah like well, with the open world SD in the trailer so that's kind of yeah. cool yeah i just mean like i wonder if she'll get a speeder you can ride around how big like how big are the areas like on yeah. tatooine how big is the area you can go to yeah um i like i love this comment i just you, you can go to Mos Eisley space bolt i love this i hope we see tashi station <laughs> me too i i think that'd be a great side quest to go yeah. pick up some power converters that would be fun you could get an achievement <laughs> yeah yeah because we a trophy. never like we've never had this before like an open world star wars game where you can just go to these places like maybe there's maybe pelimoto is yeah. hanging out you know yeah. on tatooine maybe you could go see that maybe you could go to the lars homestead yes and maybe there's like like an assassin's creed well, games you could go to old ben's house <gasps> out, out beyond, beyond the dude, dude sea <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's sick. We should make a whole I bet video. that's where Luke's at. Oh, like he's just hanging out there? He's training. Dude. Building his lightsaber. That's a great idea. <laughs> Look at us. That's so fun. Yeah. Like, so in Assassin's Creed, you'll go places and... Um, if it's like a little inside joke or a reference, your character will say something like, oh, hey, look, you know, yeah. I wonder what will happen if I go here. I just I'm looking forward to that. Like, I know that's cheesy and it's overdone at this point with yeah. games, especially with the Ubisoft formula. But we've never had that with Star Wars. And so it's exciting. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to go. I want to go to the cantina and have her say something dumb. That's a little meta reference. Yeah. You know, like, sue me. I'm a Star Wars or fan. I you, like would you see so you'd like it if you walk into the cantina 
and then someone goes, you're a droid. He's going to have to wait outside. Yeah, yeah. that's so fun. <laughs> or like yeah. even something the main character wouldn't know about, right? Like maybe, maybe, yeah, you can go to Lars Homestead and it's yeah. abandoned. She's yeah. like, man. Oh, so something something crazy happened here yeah. i don't know well, the writers can do a better job than yeah. me but run into the jawas yeah yeah I, there's a lot of opportunity for fun i yeah. just i'm excited about that i'm excited I, I hope there is like a sandbox element to it yeah and that who wouldn't want to go well if you could go hang out with tuscan raiders get that'd be cool. on your, like that's a uh, faction you can join either that or work on like your your, your melee combat and stuff yeah. like that yeah yeah so it's fun. I think that this could get tired if they do a million of these, like they've done with Assassin's Creed or they're done with like Far Cry and stuff like that. But yeah. I think that Ubisoft was, I, I might be in an unpopular opinion, but I think they were the right call for this. Uh, why am I forgetting it? Right, skull and Bones. Skull and Bones notwithstanding, because that's a whole other can of worms right yeah. there. Uh, yeah, visit Anakin's old hole. Maybe you run into Watto. He's got to be dead by now, right? Why? I don't know. Maybe like Vader's there and he like executes him and you witness that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? Oh, I didn't think about that. Vader. Do you think we get a Vader? No. No, probably no. not. Because on Tatooine, he would never exactly. go there. Um, hey, Grayson's in here. Almost forgot. Sorry I'm late. No worries, my friend. Glad you're in here. Hello. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> this makes me so sad. He is in Kyle's outfit. I know. I've seen a lot of that. <laughs> it's people. fine. I hope we see Dash Rendar too, or someone who's oh, yeah? not Dash Rendar. <laughs> I know we're in Dash Rendar's outfit. People were uh, during the first trailer. I know there was a million people who were speculating that it was like, "Oh, this is Dash, or this is Kyle." But now we have the guy has an official name, but I don't remember what his name is. Yeah, it's just wearing I, Kyle Katarn's outfit. I just think that's so funny. Yeah. So okay, well we have uh, one more trailer. Yeah. Uh, that 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 came out last week, right after our, our we recorded our last episode, so last Thursday. Yeah. Um. Came out of nowhere. It's true. Tales of the Empire. Tales of the Jedi Season 2. It turned out that it was going to be this, after all. Yeah. Right? So that's pretty cool. It is. All right, R2, throw up the Tales of the Empire trailer. I'm really excited to see it. Yeah. I just think it sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just please. Please. Please last nicely this time. Yeah. No, Thank you. Got, you. Yes. Thank you. Gosh, I got to do... R2, just... Push it up onto the screen. Okay, I gotta swipe it again. Yep, swipe. What? Swipe Did, again. Okay, there you there go. We go. My goodness. So, get you guys. All right, there here we go. go. Pull we it up on screen. It. Look at you. One of these days. One of these days, we're gonna get that ironed out. Yeah. So here we had uh, Tales from the Empire, um, and right away. Why do you? This is where you already knew it was up. Thing. We had the man talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giga Chad Thrawn. <laughs> Giga Chad. I mean, he does look more like. Lars. Yeah, I Don't noticed that. Yes. It's like they really dialed in his features. Yes. Um, oh, I mean, man, this gosh, awesome. the stuff on Dathomir. I this mean, this is, is awesome. My people were all like I mean, destroyed. yes. I mean, just all this. I mean, I, I what I like about this here, pause it, is that like Bad Batch is giving us like the Imperial like war machine. Yeah. This is giving us the Imperial, but like the force side of it. Gotcha. If yeah. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah. With you. And I like too that like they're kind of woven together with this like black magic yeah along with yeah yeah, yeah uh, like it's a very twisted version of the force yeah yeah it's really really interesting what i love about this is that we love bad batch we love this stuff but this feels like just it's just a gift to the fans oh, does no, that make sense feels like icing yeah, it's just like i don't know how much cake's gonna be here but there's a lot of icing <laughs> like this is just it feels like Hey, you know, fans, you know, you've been wanting to hear about Barris, what happened to her. You love Thrawn. Let's get some more Thrawn. Yeah. You, all this stuff. Yeah. Here, just take it. Yeah. It's like, I don't, this feels like pure fan service, but in the best way. Yeah. The best way. Yeah, Not sure. in a pandering, like, let me get some clicks or get some merch out of this. This feels like, here's, here's a reward for being so, uh, so passionate about this franchise for so long. Yeah. It because we, we get all the hits here. I mean, the only guy not in here is Palpatine, yeah. you know, when it comes to the bad guys. Yes. Um, I mean, and it, gosh, it looks good. It like, does. I thought that it's like they keep up in their game yeah. every every time you turn around. Yes. And I'm happy that they're not like, look at the dirt when she yeah. grabbed it there. Like, holy cow. And here we go. There, there's Giga Chad Thrawn himself. Say, you know what I mean? Like, him. it just. Just look at him. He looks. Gr I love seeing it in the Clone Wars style, like yes. with the more angular features, because yes. uh, well, Rebels those, has the more round. Yeah, and I, well, Rebels also had those big things on his forehead. Like yeah, he had, yeah, yeah. And I'm happy that they kind of 
they like they're there still but like they kind of reduce them a little bit i think they're trying to match more the live action version yeah. uh but he looks great he sounds great i also when does this take place because look at his yeah look at his chest he's he, not a grand admiral yet so is not. this is this all the way back well he says empire well if if she's like this i mean this is like early empire like like the end of the clone wars kind of stuff yeah like that yeah maybe this like is clone right wars after is wrapping up like bad batch in that that time period so i know we've got no it has to even be before that maybe not this because grievous has to be alive still i think those are probably so like flashbacks it, 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 so we got six episodes three are going to follow morgan probably the first one is yeah. seeing grievous yeah because we see that right in clone wars mm -hmm. uh so now we'll just see her perspective of it. it'll be like the order 66 but yeah. for night sisters right we get another perspective yeah um and then we'll probably get more a couple more episodes that are a little bit further down the timeline i've heard a lot of people speculate that maybe the final episode in her arc she hires balan and shin and so we get a little cameo That'd from be them so cool i love that yes. i love that so maybe, maybe not even hire but like thrawn says that like you know talks to her and says that you need to get in contact with these people yeah 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 we well, love it i saw uh, alan in here our boy alan hello there um could not get to the live show we'll watch later for sure all the best all the best to you my friend Thanks for popping in. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah. So I think it looks great. I think he sounds great. Yes. It's just, that's exciting. All this stuff with Morgan. And yes. then, and then what's the other thing we get? I'm here to present you with an opportunity. Oh man. We get the, uh, what's she, the seventh sister, right? From yes. Kenobi. Yes. Yes. Which I, I like that they're doing this with animation, that mm -hmm. they're kind of tying all these properties and together. Pulling it all together and making it yeah. work with the animation. Yeah. Because we've said before, right, about how live action needs to do that for the animation sometimes. Like yes. pulling in Ahsoka with Luke and Anakin, that's a nice marriage yes. of of these of the animation to the live action. Mm -hmm. But now we kind of have it in reverse. Yeah. Where we know the Inquisitors It's the fourth sister. Oh, the seventh is Rebels. Our fourth bad. sister, I'm sorry. Yes. Our bad. Sorry. Yeah, we got a resident uh, um, Rebels expert in here, yeah. Mr. Grayson. Yeah. Metro says the Star Destroyers in the shot could give a time period. Great point. Hold on. Well, but we don't know where they're pulling all that stuff from, though. It's true, because I think they're cutting around a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because, like, she looks younger there, and then she looks older. The, it just... Yeah. I don't know. Well, the big thing here, you can see it on screen. We've got uh, Barris. Yes. Right? And so that's huge we've been wanting the story forever there was some i remember back in the ahsoka prelude talks maybe Maroc was barbarous yes right because she was going to be a foil to ahsoka and that would make a lot of that would make a lot of sense yeah but now we're finally getting the story yeah so it's like where, where do you think she's ending up by the end of this does she make it out or is she done dead 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 i'm kind of in the camp that I, i've seen a lot of people say they want her to come back for like an ahsoka season two I just don't like a lot of these people surviving the original trilogy. Yes. Both good guys and bad guys. It, yeah. I think we're just too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. So I kind of like the idea that some people have been speculating that she recognizes Vader, Vader recognizes her, and he's getting revenge yeah. for what she did to Ahsoka. Because that would make sense, like, that that's still something in Vader's mind, even though he's purged a lot of Anakin. Yeah. The bad parts of Anakin are still there, and Anakin got pretty dark side during that whole he arc. don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we also get, I mean, ah, there's so many, so many hits here. Yeah. Where's he at? Palpatine. Taking the, yeah. oh my gosh. Yes. Right. Oh my gosh. There's just so many callbacks. This looks sick too. Yeah. Like these these sickles. Yeah. Gosh. And like they, they've got like force magic, like the, um, the, uh, the Talzin blade. Yeah. Like that's what they kind of look, oh man. It, it's just the, uh, that's not Vader yet. That's Anakin in that suit. She's done. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. I get what you're getting at, Tails, but I think that she, I mean, he's Vader for sure. It's just, oh, yeah. there's pieces of Anakin yeah. you know, that, that come through. They I mean, they're through. not different people. No. I, I, that argument always bothers me. That's a personal thing that I have. Like, they're not different people, you know, so he's got, um, he's still going to pull on that. As much as he may like to say, Vader is an unreliable narrator when I he says that him. he destroyed him. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to say is Morgan just looks great. I think that she translated really well to animation. Yeah. It's so funny that we're having these conversations because it's usually the opposite. Yeah. It's translated so well to live action. Yeah. Feel my destiny. That's cool. I like too. She looks got great. The, she's got the staff. Did you catch this that? Is, this is the guy. I Did you catch that? Play. Yeah. Did she's got the? She has the best car spear. Yeah. I mean, we see her on yeah. uh, Corvus. It's legit. It's nice having you back. Looking normal. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've kind of come around. I've never loved the Kenobi design, but. 
after seeing this, I think this looks better than the Rebels design. Uh, yeah, he looks awesome. Yeah, he looks awesome. And Jason Isaacs back. Yes. Hashtag all, my Inquisitor all day long. Love that. Yes, it's awesome. And he looks way more threatening and seems way more threatening here than like I don't know. He's Love like that. just the, the, he's kind of uh, like the boogeyman. In uh, <laughs> did, did put a like on this by the way. What? There we go. Oh, okay. And like. <laughs> But yeah, he's kind of like the Boogeyman Rebels, where it's like, I'm going to get you. You're right. I'm going to get you. But yeah. That, uh, well, it seems like they're taking a little bit more of a serious approach with each of these, yeah, uh, each what, of these guys. That's what I'm saying. Is, is I, I think that like this is like, oh, this is what I think what he's really supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little more intense. Because Rebels, I, I know people love it for this aspect. It was very intentional. It had more of like a cartoonish villain vibe to all the villains. Yeah. Till we get later into like Thrawn and stuff. But those, that first season with yeah. the GI, he's definitely a little bit more like a Scooby Doo villain, yes. in my opinion. Uh, but he's great. Yeah. I, I like him and I, I'm excited to see mm-hmm. him in this context. Yeah. Um, I will help you overcome. I just, I, I just man, it, gosh, it looks good. It, it just does. looks so good. Like, in my opinion, I know we put this as the title of the video here. I think the future of Star Wars is this it's I, animation. I would not have a problem with it if it was just this. Yeah. Because I, you can. You can, everybody can translate to this. I, I you agree. You can have people voice, you can do other things, you can have other people voice over other people. I just think that yeah. this could be the linking thing. I just... I'd be fine with it. We talked about this before. I think that live action is special. Yeah. Not that animation isn't special. Yeah. But it's just, we've established so much, so many actors, I guess, and that's always the, the eternal question with Star Wars, recast or no recast, and there's yeah. a lot more freedom here. Yeah. And I think it makes... It it holds the live action stuff to like a certain uh, level. Yeah. Again, not saying that animation is cannot be on that level. Of course it is. Of course. I mean, look yeah. at Bad Batch right now. Yeah. But what I mean is like, let the movies exist in their own realm. Yeah. Right. That are live action. And I like the shows. I'm glad we're getting season two of Ahsoka. Looking forward to Acolyte. Looking forward to Skeleton Crew. But I don't know. My opinion. I just think Star Wars really thrives here. Yeah. I think it really thrives in animation. Gabby's got a question. Oh, what do we got? Can someone remind me why Barris framed Ahsoka? Um, she was kind of... She's it, over the war, wasn't she? Yeah, she was like, you know, this war is not the Jedi way. Um, I, gosh, it's been a while since I've watched that arc. Why she frames Ahsoka specifically, I don't remember. Can you bite? Grayson, you're kind of our, you're, you're more of our lore guy in here. I see you're in here. No more baby head inquisitor. See, he's, he's uh, <laughs> in the chat. Um best way to okay real quick i'll go for you back to barris I, I love this comment best way to think about it is what he did to fox he holds grudges even if he considers himself a new person yes 100 percent. hundo percent my man force force choked and slammed into a tree with the kids watching that's that's true with barris um i actually don't remember though and now i'm should we just look it up guess so here we'll just look it up okay barris I don't think I spelled that right. All right. We're just, we're just, we're just right live there, looking at that. Right up. there. You had it. It was right there. Something about uh, delusional Jedi role, believing that she's straight away. Support. I'm right here at the top. Weary of the Jedi Council deciding. Acts concerned. She orchestrated a bombing of the Jedi Temple. Yeah, so there's that part. But where does she I think decide? It was convenience, wasn't it? She allowed T- Tano to be framed. Oh, I don't think that she... Okay, I think what happened was Ahsoka was just kind of... There. Yeah, convenient. What Grayson is saying. Kind of convenient, right place at the right time, that yeah. kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah. And she just didn't stand up for her or whatever, but because... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, real, uh, real quick. Let me... Hello? Let me adjust something real quick. But anyway, excited about all of this? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, don't worry about it. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. You keep talking. Fill in, fill in the empty space. Okay, that's fine. Well, I guess here, uh, we'll talk about the... Uh, the uh, um, uh, I guess the ghost in the room. There's a, there's a couple ghost boys at the end of this trailer. And uh, I'm actually kind of ex- excited because I want to know you know more about them that uh, we get Maroc and then we get the uh, the other inquisitor and they're at the very end of the trailer are you gonna yes 
Yeah, like, can go to them it. up. Yes, go to that, that was actually like that was the thing I was hey, excited. Hey, first try. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, you did it. Look, Look you're at getting me. better at it. Yes, but I was gonna say back here, uh, Ahsoka's kill count <laughs> is back here. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, both these guys. Yeah, exactly. As they lower their head, they go into focus. Just so you know, if you like hit pause and start, yeah, there you go. They're gonna go into focus. Stop. There you go. Hey. Yeah, there they are. As soon better. as like I saw that the shape of that helmet, I'm like, oh man, my boy's back. And then, like, just because I want to know more about him, I think he looks cool. Yeah. So, and that's I doubt we'll get much. I think they're just there to be you part of the think lineup. So? No, I think they're just part of the lineup. Oh, that'd be frustrating if they don't even get to do anything. I, I mean, I think we might see like training or something, or like part of this initiation or something. But gotcha. I think they're just there to add continuity to to make it all fit together. Because like, then we get. Yes. The boy. Yes. The man. Yes. You know what I'm most excited about for this? What? I loved his character model from Clone Wars, and I'm just excited to see more of it. I don't even care what he does. I just, I want to see. Yeah. I think he looked really cool. Like, yeah. I love the Rebels design. Yeah. Love it. That the Macquarie esque. Yeah. But down, down okay. for that. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I was going to say the other thing. We didn't even talk about General Grievous. I mean, he's, oh. he's there. He's, he's towards the end. He's in that like montage. Oh, yeah, too. Here, back up a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, they're on Corvus. Ooh, yeah. So this is New Republic. So there is a significant time jump. Exactly. That's why I think maybe we see... even in Mando, the guy on the left. Yes. 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 So like... He's, he even made it on the poster, believe it or not. Yeah, it's crazy. So I think there's a good chance since we're in New Republic era, maybe they maybe they link up yeah. with... Uh, Balin and Shin. Wow. Oh, gotcha. Could, could, couldn't right. get I was it. just like, I don't know what you're getting at. Link up with what? But yeah, there she is with the spear again. Like, it's just, yes, give me this. Like, make him scary again. Dang it. I keep making this full screen. He's got a bag of there you go. Make him scary again. Yeah. That's I'm here for it. Like the, he looks scary. Yes. I love General Grievous with his cape too. Do you? I do. Okay. You don't like his cape? I mean, when he's fighting. Yeah. I mean, I want him to like, you know, shimmy it off. <laughs> like he does with Obi Wan, yeah. So yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. I'm into it. I love yeah. it. It's awesome. Yes. Uh, catching up with the chat before we move on to the fan question segment. Yeah. Uh, Varies and Barris, I assume, is what you meant when Ahsoka wants friends. Yep. Yes. First time catching you guys live. Good evening, Master Jedi. Appreciate it, Mario. Hello there. Um, I want to see Maroc have small talk with Barris. For some reason, the Inquisitors seem to be so socially inept to me. Dude, they are. I mean, you see them just bicker all the time. I don't care. Maroc's my boy. <laughs> well, well, one person, you know, I think we... I think we have to see them just, I, I don't think they'll have a big role, but I think we have to see them just by the nature of the lineup. Reva. You think so? Unless this is after Kenobi, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I have no idea. I just, why have all the other Inquisitors? Yeah. And I know, I know, we're, yeah. uh, everybody hates Reva. I'm not the biggest fan either, but I think that this could do that character a lot of, a lot of good Yeah. by seeing, oh again. no, seeing her again. I think that, yeah. that could be helpful. I just like. And I think she'll just be a background. Maybe she has a line, yes. but that's it. Right? Yeah. Like Maroc and the other dude, like Skull dude. Yeah. Grayson more, has a... More gas. I, was, I knew you wanted yeah. me to avoid this, but yeah. uh, Seth get a new haircut again? If so, look at Fly. Yeah. It's a little short. It's shorter than I, I wanted. That it's... He's looking like Clone Wars Anakin over yeah, here. Yeah, I at actually that. feel like when when it was done, I was like, oh gosh, I look like that new hot toy. <laughs> like, <laughs> do, yeah. the, do the face... You know, <laughs> <laughs> the Kevin James that you gotta like yeah. scrunch up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that I'll be honest, that's why I'm wearing my hat. <laughs> Cause I'm uh I, I want it to grow out a little bit more. <laughs> Would Reva even be old enough that this is still clones? Well, I mean, if we're seeing all the Inquisitors, then this is not clone yeah, wars. Yeah, this is gotta be enough that the Inquisitorious has been built up. Yeah, and yeah, I mean and become a thing. I, I guess the question is is like when was the Inquis Inquisitorious formed? Yeah. In my mind, I mean it's it's gotta be at least a a year or two. So even if it's a year or two, so Reva was a okay, wait, he might have a point. So Reva was well, Kenobi. It's ten years. Okay. It's up and running in ten years. She was what, like ten? Well, it's up and running five years because that's Fallen Order and that's second sister. Gotcha. So, I mean, they pulled her out of the gutter, as they said, right? So, yeah, she would. She, she might be just young. Be there. She might just be like you well, know in the ranks, but not like you know. She's like ninety ninth sister. 
<laughs> you gotta work her way up or something like that. Well, she's also wait, 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 wait. The answer might be right in front of us. She's the third sister. Yeah. But don't they like move around and stuff like that? Do they? That? Do they move and rank? Becomes, like is 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 the She becomes the Grand Inquisitor. She doesn't stay the third I know, sister. but the Grand Inquisitor is kind of its own title. Are you suggesting that the other sisters are their own and brothers are their own titles as well? And I, that they get like moved up? Because the way I, I always, always interpreted that's it. That's how it is. I guess I don't know. I don't I'll be real with you guys. I don't like these guys that much. It's not I it's kinda like they said uh uh er, like earlier, they bicker all the time. Yeah, so like I've never really liked them that much. Yeah, so uh, Grayson's saying, from what we know, they don't move up because okay. that makes sense, right? Because nobody takes, or they just get replaced if they die. But I'm saying they don't like the second sister dies five years after Return uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, nobody is named the second uh, sister beyond that. So theoretically, she's one of the first because she's the uh, second, right? Okay, and so then that's how that's I was. Why, inter- that's why the numbers go up. That's that's always been my interpretation. Is that like? It's literally chronological. Like yeah. you have second sister, third, fourth, so on, right? Interesting. So if that's the case, we see the fourth sister in the trailer. Yeah. Riva's the third. She might be younger. Sure. So like let's just let's just throw it out there. It's maybe five years. Let's say this is five so years she's after. She's like let's say so she's like fifteen. Yeah. So she could be maybe. anywhere from ten to thirteen, I think, at the Revenge of the Sith, Order Sixty Six. Five years, that puts her at eighteen. So yeah. she's right there. I mean, yeah. even a teenager, I think she'd still be uh, formidable. For- formidable as an Inquisitor, right? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, like what Tails saying here, like, could we see Trilla? That would be cool. I'd love to. Uh, she's my favorite Inquisitor. I think yeah. that'd be great. Yes. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. That's interesting. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of thoughts there that I'm like. Maybe we'll get the eighth brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who I still think maybe is, is Maroc. I don't. No way. No way. What um I like that big one too that was in um uh in the first Fallen Order game that you fight that's got like the, the big, eighth the big test yeah that's the eighth sister right yeah like that one's cool too so we already have eight eight of them by five years after yeah. so that's interesting yeah so what does Grayson say here I think sometimes they get filled in but they don't move up if that makes sense she could be old enough to be trained I hope she gets Inquisitor lore. Nah, no way Maroc is the eighth. Yeah, I know. I know it's because of the hand the thing. Fingers. You see the fingers, I get it. Yeah. They do look similar though. He's I just, just no, I agree. But yeah, no, I and I, I don't want him to just be Night Sister Magic. I hope he's a dude. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. I think he was just reanimated. Yeah. I think that's all it was. Yeah. But I don't know. I just think there's a lot of possibilities, you know, yeah. if they're with it. It's like mm-hmm. um I think that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, so Night we have Adam here, Ninth Sister. By the way, oh yes, that's right. She's the ninth sister. Sorry, yeah, sorry. My fault. We need to work um, on our Inquisitor lore. Before yeah, I know. Show. I know. We're just like, can we go? Can we go down the line? You got grand. So I've always took him as like. Here, here's a theory. He's like there, one. Yeah, he's the first brother, right? Yeah. Is anybody? That's yeah. always how I interpret. So we it. got him. So we got the Grand Inquisitor, second sister, second sister. That, so now I wonder if that's how it. Because is there a fifth sister? I don't know. So maybe that's like there can't be both a. A second fit. sister and a second brother. Gotcha. Maybe that's how it works. Yeah. Gotcha. That that would make sense. So okay, you have second sister. That's Trilla, third right? sister. Yeah, Trilla. Yeah. Fourth yeah. sister. Yes, which we the know. Fifth, fifth brother. brother. Yes. Sixth is there? Is that weird owl guy the sixth? I don't know what he is. I thought he was unnamed Inquisitor. And is there a set? Yes, there's there are a, some of the comics. There are a ton in the comics that get killed and stuff like that. Yeah, there's actually like, a cool one because aren't a couple of them dating and Vader like kills them both? I couldn't tell you. So then there's yeah. Then there's the. I know there's uh, several of them die because a, a Jedi screams execute order sixty six around a bunch of clones and they oh, shoot yeah. them. Yeah, yes. that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's, it's, like- yeah. I think it's what starts that actually because yeah. then Vader finishes them off. If I'm yeah. not mistaken. Anyway, you have seventh sister. Yeah, seventh sister. That's, yes, that's Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah, that's from from Rebels. Yeah, eighth brother is the guy with the hands. Eighth brother. Yeah, ninth sister. Okay, who's the ninth sister? That's that's Sorry. the from Fallen Order. The big, oh, gotcha. big lady. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I never, never thought about it that way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at us. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> would have thunk it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, sorry. We're going on for a while. We had a lot to talk about. We did. Surprisingly, I didn't think Lots we would. to talk about Beyond the Dune Sea. <laughs> All yeah. right. I think it's time for a little bit of, I don't know, some fan questions. Yeah. Let's hit it. Oh, yeah. Clear your mind. All right, fan question segment. 
So you guys know, you guys know how this works. We every week put a prompt up on Instagram over at Beyond the Dune Sea, asking you guys the topic of the week. This week it was a bunch. Bad Batch, Tales of the Empire, Star Wars Outlaws. We got a lot of input, or really anything you want to throw yeah. our way, and we choose we'll a few. Answer it. We're open books. Yeah, we like yeah. to. We just like to chat, as you yeah. guys can tell. All right, from Todd Chadburn. We got a lot of these questions, so this is the one I pulled. Uh, I apologize if you asked a similar question. Uh, that way it wasn't too redundant. I pulled up Tom's here. What Tales of would you like to see next? You know, I think it'd be kind of fun since with Outlaws, it'd be kind of fun Tales of Scum and Villainy. Ooh, okay. Yeah, where we get like shorts about bounty hunters or like uh, mm. Job of the Hut or, or something of that nature. Okay. Yeah, I want three episodes of that guy from Mando season one, who was in the cantina. Who yeah, Dash Rendar. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as uh, as Albo just said here, Tales of the Sith. I mean, that's a yeah, that's an easy one. Yes, um, I think that 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 one's pretty clear. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, more Tales of the Jedi wouldn't be yeah. upset about that. Um, I mean, give me Ray and Kylo. Yeah, Tales of the Ben Solo and, yeah, and Ray. Somebody yes. put out a graphic that was like a bunch of different options. Yeah. Tales of the Dyad. Yeah, I'd be yes. into that. I'm here for it. Um, Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I think that it's cool that they shifted to Tales of the Empire so that the, the, the door's wide open now. Now we can do whatever we want. Tales of the Old Republic. Yes. Tales of the Mandalorians. You don't really need that. We have that as its yeah. own show. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. What would I personally like to see next? I'll, I'll be real. I would love to see Balin and Shin. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how, where you'd work that in, at, but yeah. Tales Maybe of the awesome Dark if, Side. Tales something. of the Dark Side. Yeah. Uh, I'd like, I'm just trying to think of something that's like off out of left field. I'd kind of like Yoda's early training. Yeah. Like don't reveal where he's from or anything like that, but just a little bit like what he was like when he was a knight or maybe even a Padawan. Yeah. Just, That'd be fun. just some gumshoe running around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Gabby, I like this one. Yeah. Tales of the Night Sisters. Exactly. Ooh, Grace in here with a super original idea. Tales, yeah, Tales of the of Star Star Wars. Tales of the Star Wars. Thank gotcha. you. It would be titled Star Wars Tales of the Star Wars. Yes. A Star Wars story. Yes. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Second question. Yeah. Tales from Tashi Station, who's in the chat. What existing characters do you think we'll see in the Acolyte? Uh, I think we kind of talked about this Yoda before. Yoda and Yaddle. Yeah. yeah, maybe some Plo Koon. Maybe, depending um, on how old they are. Yeah. If we're talking existing, like EU existing, I still think there's a possibility we get a Plagueis. Yeah, I still, I've still. Can we get a little Darth Plagueis? Yeah. Can we? Can we get a little Darth Plagueis right now? No. 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 He's a. Uh, the spirit has not moved me in that way today. Gotcha. He's dead. Huh? Darth Plagueis. <laughs> I don't oh, even know if I could do it. You, I, don't you, I can do an impression of you. You flatter me, my young apprentice. You flatter me, my apprentice. There it is. I love it. <laughs> what existing care? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know where that came from. It's amazing. That's what it is. Like you're, you're usually the goofball in those things, and like the only reason, only. Well, why did I do it? Oh, because I didn't. I didn't want to shave for Palpatine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you didn't want to shave. <laughs> um, I love this. The acolyte is Darth Plagueis at home. Yeah, I hope we see it. And yeah, Darth Tenebris. I just, yeah. I still think that there's a there's a connection. There's just there's, there's gotta, gotta be. there's just gotta be. It's yeah. just it's at that. She's time. even kind of sowing those seeds too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Leslie Headland. Yeah. Yep. Moving on, hungry bookworm. What other stories would y'all like to see in the Tales of the Empire Jedi format? Look at me. I thought I only pulled one. Now, what we said, Balin and Shin, the Dyad, all that stuff. Let's do it, everybody. I'm I'm happy to see the support for that show because it's like or this idea it right? looks awesome it does it just it yeah. looks great yes uh nathaniel t hansen if you could pick the best battle in star wars lander space which one i actually think this was a question from our last live and i just forgot to swap it out but hey we'll answer it again yeah um battle over coruscant is is always been one of my favorites i really dig the battle over the great pit of cocoon that's good. Yeah. That's a good one. That's yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a ton of Clone Wars battles that are really fun. I mean, yeah. Siege of Mandalore. Yeah. Can't it's go sick. wrong. Yeah. It's good stuff. I mean, I if you're if you're going to lump them all together, I mean, the ending of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. That's sick. There's one, I don't remember what planet they're on, but how Clone Wars Season 7 opens, that, that battle, like on the bridge, mm-hmm. 
I love that battle. That I think is it's cool. really fun. Hey, pull up Grayson really quick, because here you go. We can answer. Whoop, oh, yep, sorry. Right, right there. Yeah. What if Huang is in the, the Acolyte? Acolyte, yes. That makes sense. He's old enough to be there. I think that would be... That's another, like, slam dunk cameo. I feel like, dude... Dude. <laughs> like, that would be awesome. So, yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Now mm-hmm. I lost my place. Are you did that one? Okay. Katasaurus.rex. Duel of the Kates. Yeah. YouTube member. Awesome. Awesome. And I love... I love this question. She's She's always coming out with, like the best yeah the, the best comments uh if you were to reorganize releases to better build the palpatine plot what would it be so for our regular shows i don't usually pre-screen these um because i have them just kind of pulled up but like here because i have to make the graphics and stuff i read this one and i was like i love this i love this idea because i've always thought that once we're done building to the project necromancer thing if you just took 10 years down the road, you plopped Star Wars chronologically into someone's lap, would they have an issue with somehow Palpatine returned? Would that be a problem for them? In my mind, I think no. I don't think I... Now, granted, there might be some other issues you have with those movies, but I think that that does not come out of left field. So to answer your question, how if you were to reorganize releases to better build the Palpatine plot, what would it be? Well, you still have OT, you still have prequels, you still have Clone Wars with a, I know this isn't related to Palpatine, but you finish Clone Wars all the way through season seven. Like that's the order of operations, right? So we don't go back and do season seven after Rebels. So Clone Wars comes out in its entirety. Rebels. Sequel trilogy concurrent with Rebels because part of that was concurrent with Rebels. And then, well, no, 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 I'm sorry. Sequels, not yet. You have to wait. You Rebels. You get the very last thing. Yes. Rebels. Do the Mando timeline. We can even recursively go back with Bad Batch. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine kind of yeah. going back. Yeah. Like, oh, we hear about this thing called Project Necromancer in the Mandoverse, but then yeah. we go back like, oh, wait, no, Palpatine was building through it this whole time. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then you finally have the... Yes, the pre- because then you don't know the ending. Stuff. Yeah. And it's that's like, oh, it, it would be in the back of the, the audience's mind, like, what... Uh, there's a potential he could return. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, yeah. it could, could be... Maybe mm-hmm. that's what they're building to. And then yeah. you get to the sequel trilogy... And then, oh, there's Snoke. Oh, I thought we were building the Palpatine. Yeah. It's not the cleanest even still, but I think by the time you get to Tross, it makes that reveal actually kind of cathartic because yeah. you've been waiting this whole time yeah. for that build. Maybe even throw Battlefront 2 in there at some point with Operation Cinder. Yeah. Right? Uh, but I think what well, you said. I guess I have to echo you because I, yeah, I'm like, I don't know how you would really, I'd have to really sit and like, look at everything and be right. like, okay, then I'd, I'd put this here and this here and this here. But I mean, again, breadcrumb it. That's how I would do it. I just think and, that that makes Palpatine's return in Tross actually kind of scary because oh, yeah. it's like, oh shoot, they finally did it. All yeah. these things that all of our heroes across time have been trying to stop. Yeah. No, he did it. He can return. Yeah, yep. but then they stop him, right? Yep. And again, maybe you can, if I were to go in and actually, we're only talking about release or releases, so yeah. But if I could put my fingers in and yeah, do a little extra tweaking, a little bit more of that, then yeah. yeah, maybe maybe you build up to it a little better within okay. the sequel trilogy itself. But yeah, I think it's a great question. Yeah. I just I really like that question. I think it's great. Also, I didn't say this, but if you have a question to ask us in the chat, let oh, us know. Right. Tales of Huang would be a banger. So many thousands of years of stories. Game Informer just dropped a making of Star Wars Outlaws thirty minutes ago. Well, I will what have do we to do with check our lives? That out. I-, <laughs> I have to check that out. Yeah, Clone Wars store in story order, not release order. Yeah, yeah I know. I personally don't have an issue with that. That's another thing. Katie is very knowledgeable on the release order of uh, of Clone Wars. Yes. Um, and I, yeah, I personally don't mind it being an anthology. I get that that's what they were trying to do. I just want them to, before they're done with Clone Wars, everything comes out before yeah. we move on to Rebels. Yeah. Because then it's like, man, what's going to happen with Ahsoka? Is she going to die? I don't know. Yeah. All right, moving on. Yeah, I lost my place again. Mando Pirate. Why is Seth's corner red and Connor's corner blue? The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. That's going to be a tale for another day. Another day. Another mm-hmm. day. Star Wars Time. Show. How dumb is it that the Empire left Rampart alive? This dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he has a role to play. Yeah, I, think I so don't too. think that they would just leave him alive for nothing. 
Yeah, he's clearly yeah. got some sort of knowledge that mm -hmm. the Empire needs, or, yeah. or they need to keep him around for something. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Love it. The darkness rises and the light to meet it. <laughs> um. Ooh, who is the most underrated Star Wars character from Albo in the live chat? Uh, Babu Frick. <laughs> Jackson the Rabbit. I mean, we've answered this before. I was going to say. Our answers have not changed. Yeah. <laughs> Albo, were you the one who commented? I think we got a comment within the last couple weeks asking this question. I think it was Albo, and I think I replied with Jackson the Rabbit. Yeah. And that's not, a, that's unironic. He's great. I love him. <laughs> Tales from Babu. Jackson versus Babu. Babu. Dude, that's, that's a power battle is waiting to happen right there. I don't even know, like, Jar -Jar. we would come to, <laughs> hey, look at Adam. <laughs> Babu Frick supremacy. That's true. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or maybe that one guy who's also in Tross who goes, Win the war. <laughs> yeah, win the war. Yeah. He's voiced by Mark Hamill. Exactly. And his heads. No, the guy, uh, Claude, the biggest slug yeah, guy. Yeah, who who's fixes the ship but doesn't have arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daniel. In Neko, Outlaws seem to trend towards the sci-fi element, not the fantasy element. Thoughts to me, who I like to call out here. Oh, man. I've been very outspoken about how Star Wars is fantasy, yeah. not sci-fi. Yeah. So this is always like an interesting thing to come back to because we talk a lot about Star Wars DNA. Yes. What makes um, it tick? And I think Bad Batch is interesting because I think it actually does lean a little bit into that more sci-fi element. But yeah. also... It leans into the mysticism a little too. The mysticism is in the background. Yeah. And I think that that's key. Like you need, even if you're going to tell a story that's not Jedi or Sith, you need to have that groundwork that like the force is what governs this universe. It still is present. So in, like something like Andor, right? That's like very sci-fi. Yeah. And why we have argued does not feel so Star Wars. Even though it's a great show, it doesn't feel Star Wars. -y. I think it's because it doesn't even touch on the mysticism. It doesn't even hint at it. Yeah. Now I'm not saying anybody in the show has to use the force, but if like that's a predominant belief right and i get it Andor is at a time where like the jedi are all but extinct you were sure. the last of their old religion my friend yeah, yeah exactly so outlaws yes i think that it is a little bit more that sci-fi element but it's also a yeah. video game so there's a little bit more like leeway given yeah i think it all comes to, like you need a few different elements to feel star wars you need you need music you need um like there's a certain musical element to it. Yes. There's uh, iconography. Yeah. There's the mysticism that includes the fantasy. The sounds. Yeah. The sound design. Yes. Yeah. Um, and all, now you could take one of those out. You could play with them. Here, can I say something really quick too? Of course. Oh, going back to Bad Batch, that like this most recent episode felt like Star Wars because a heist is a very Star Wars thing where the good guys are trying to like yeah like overthrow something, take it, big explosion. You know? Sure. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Yeah. yeah and you know trails off beautiful john williams-esque music yeah, yeah. That, that seems like that that is a very like it's a simple idea but that's a very star wars thing and yeah. it doesn't really involve the jedi or the sith no but, no no yeah I, I think you have all of those elements mm -hmm. and like you could take them out and you can play with them like mandalorian yeah. with the music it yeah. does something very unique yeah but it's got iconography yes it's got the sound design yes right now andor only really hits one of those it hits the sound design music See, is very I unique think andor sounds like star wars well, like when they shoot blasters and stuff. I think, Sometimes I feel like it yeah, does. Yeah, I guess not always. Yeah, I know. That's the whole thing. I think it sounds too foreign. And then every now and again, you get a stormtrooper or a TIE fighter or yeah, something. Exactly. Uh, but Outlaws, so far, it's hit. I, I can't speak to the music. I can't speak to the sound design. What little we get in the trailer sounds Star Warsy. But iconography? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's job of the hunt. <laughs> and I have an inkling that we'll get a little bit of the mysticism in the background. I don't yeah. think we're going to get it on the forefront, but well, in the background. If we meet Luke, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's it's the question that we keep mm -hmm. wrestling with, yeah. like what makes Star Wars Star Wars. But I, yeah. I like the question. I appreciate the call out because I, yeah. that we have talked about that many times. Crafting on Ilum, who are you most excited to see in Tales of the Empire? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to sound so lame, but Vader. I mean, I can't help it. I just I just love the Yeah, no, I just I'm sorry. I just I'm a fan you of the big shill. guy. No, yeah. I'm excited for Barris. I'm excited for I, yeah. actually. You know what? That's not true. Thrawn. Yeah. So I think it would be pretty cool because I know Dooku was involved with the Night Sisters being destroyed as well. I think it'd be really cool where he's all like, "General, do your thing," you know, like, and then he like Grievous goes, "That'd be like, cool." Yeah, I'd love to see that. Some updated yes. animation. Yes, that that could be cool. And then I gotta go with my boy Maroc, even though the, like I just <laughs> I want to know now that uh, you know ever since the, I mean, he's he's a big Ahsoka character, so that I, yeah, it's it's important to me. Real quick, C. Pelisek, 
tuning in late but watching to catch up shameless plug for something wrestling check out my friend's podcast new to wrestling if you're interested there you go okay right there check out his friend's podcast touches on uh secular rebel idealism i yeah uh, we're talking about andor i assume Mm -hmm. no i agree it's just too many elements are missing in my opinion to make it feel star wars yes all right, down to the last few questions. Josh Fries, if George knew how the embraced the prequels would become, would he have still sold Star Wars? Yes. Yeah. Because he chose his family over Star Wars. Yeah, that I mean, a lot of people cite that he and I know he mentioned it that if he would have made the sequels, people would have hated those too. And they would have. But that was not his reasoning for it. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, you hear George talk about what he wanted to do for the sequels. He wanted to go like into the microcosms of the force yeah weird, like, like metaphysical kind of stuff darth maul was going to come back leo yes. was the chosen one all this stuff yeah. fun ideas that i think he could have made work yeah it, ultimately it's his universe it's going to feel cohesive just by the nature of it yeah right and like i've said this before if george would have made the sequel trilogy exactly as it stands i would have been like hey who am i to say yeah, <laughs> that's true it's his story it's his universe in right? fact cody rhodes is one of my favorite uh Cody from Russell. I'm pulling it all back. Oh, okay. It's full he circle. Is, he's an amazing Star Wars quote where they asked him about his opinion about the prequels and like, does he like them? And he was like, who am I to say that the George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars made something bad? Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, that, and that's not to say Lucas is infallible. It no, just means that it's just, by the nature of it, it is consistent because it's his story. It's his who, are we to, exactly. who are we to say that he's wrong? Ex- that, yes, exactly. It's his story. That's more of what I mean. Michael underscore Kramer 98. If Star Wars Outlaws does well, do you think we will finally get KOTOR remake? Isn't it happening? Yes. I it's been it was like off the book and then now it's back. Well, the problem whatever. is it's all been leaks. So yeah. it's all been like, it's all been hearsay. Yeah. But there was recently, the issue was there was recently like, there were two studios that were merged that then got separated and there were rights issues and stuff. So there's a bunch of uh, business drama, yeah. but I think they were still working on the game the entire time. And whoever was in charge so one of the higher ups there has said many times, like, "Hey, it's despite happened. all this, it, it's it's alive and well." Yeah, I think it's kind of a believe it when you see a trailer type thing. Yeah, well, we got that one little teaser of Revan walking yeah. up or whatever, which that was cool. But I mean, yeah, who knows? I, I I do think that it we probably will. It's probably just a while off. Yeah, it's like the Star Wars Eclipse game. Yeah. And last question. You sure? Nope. That okay. was the last question. Oh, okay. You <laughs> exactly. sure? You scroll all the way down. Did we do the one? Which like one? all the way at the bottom? I don't know. They, no, that was uh, it. I just I was trying to toggle okay. something all else. Right, okay. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm such a stream noob. I apologize. Like you're, a, you're all, all of our homies who are good at this, we're like, you know, we don't we know nothing. Yeah. It's just awful. We're getting there. <laughs> uh what would it take you to to play a game of Star Wars Legion? Oh. I mean I can do that. It can be done. Look, right now. I think we got another question. I thought I pulled it. It was from uh, Tom Chadburn asking us about, uh, hey, when Star Wars Unlimited video coming? There's so many things we have on the table, but mm-hmm. like that Comic-Con video, I'm still working. <laughs> Star Wars is just very busy right now. Star Wars is busy? And also life is very yeah, busy. you're very busy. I'm very busy. Yes. Or I'm getting very close to a, a youngling. Yes. Yeah. My youngling showing up. A new hope. So, yeah. uh, so we're a- uh, Maybe- 15 years she'll take the reins <laughs> yeah right. she'll, she'll capture it. she'll capture it so to answer yeah. your question when yeah. are we playing star wars legion we have we do have things on the books for this i'm just not going to promise when anything's going to come out it's just yeah. because things are so hectic right now but don't worry we'll start to regulate a little bit there's just like man there's just so much <laughs> that yeah. was like we had three different star wars things come out in the last week yes we got the stuff about popcon ironed out yes Lock and then up. bad badge because we're making these videos that that takes up a lot of our time too. Does yes. So that's Does. uh yeah. Ta- these videos, you mean just like living our life? It's right? true. Yes, Sorry. we're yeah. having the camera rolling as we go on our adventures. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. These are going. Everything's going nuts. Django. Yes, I did see. I apologize. We got a ton of questions this week, which hey, we love and appreciate that. But we keep them coming. Yes. But it would be this would be a four hour show if I did every single question. So I I tried to pick some some that we'd seen before, some guys that we hadn't seen in a while, um, but. Yeah, sometimes you just uh, kind of just roll a die to pick them because there's so many good ones. Hmm. Uh, what does uh? Oh no, I skipped to Ashton. Don't give me hope. Yeah, I think he was above. Ah, I'm trying. I'm trying to scroll. Yeah, I 
I think he was right there. Keep your door locked, Connor. Cadbane might be after you soon. What's that mean? Oh, because <laughs> youngling. Oh, the young. Oh, like, yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not catch that. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. What a dark joke. Gabby I about love books it. is about the. She said something too. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, Ashton, I saw there. Uh, Ashton, hey. Glad you're in here. He started a channel. I don't know if we mentioned that since he started a YouTube channel. He's the guy that's great about music. He's like, you should go check him it. out because he's he's got a cool voice. He does. He sounds way cooler than this you. Dude is like, I. yeah, yeah. Yes. This dude is like made for content creation. <laughs> yes. I saw somewhere that Kyle Katarn was going to be in something like confirmed, maybe in Outlaws. Any ideas? I know a lot of people thought the that that guy, guy that looks like him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'll be there. Maybe he'll be yeah. there. Yeah. Gabby says, excited to see Phantom Menace in theaters. Uh, uh, just a few weeks i hopefully am but that is like we're getting into the yeah we're getting to the end game as far as yeah like when i gotta be ready to to yeah. bounce at any time so yeah. um yeah uh that, seth might be the only one on the show for a little while yeah yeah get we're planning to, on pre-recording some shows but, but get used might to be me. a might be that's, a might we'll, be a co-host for a week or two well right <laughs> well that right there that's prime talking about board game stuff because yeah. I can sit and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. There will always be some uh, Beyond the Dune Sea action over yes. here. I guess I can say, I saw, I don't know why this is not working. Um, when's my due date? I could say it's right around May 4th. So just happened to work out that way. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're getting close. So yeah. if, I'm, if I'm not here randomly, you know why. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't worry. There will always be some action on Beyond the Dune Sea. Yes. You know, something over here. Yeah. Um, just you know all this to say just apologize for like it's been a little tumultuous but hey we gotta, appreciate you guys yeah gotta look out for gotta look out for the youngling i like yeah. that i like that the people have been saying that that's hilarious yeah. that's what i'm gonna start saying yeah uh, is there any eu character you'd like to see made canon um i was gonna say plagueis but he's not technically eu because he's mentioned in uh revenge of the sith um yeah. star killer i mean i'm yeah. always gonna be on that camp yeah my man yeah. My man Starkiller. I don't know why they just don't make him an Inquisitor. That would be pretty sick. I think the ship has sailed, unfortunately. It's like yeah. the perfect story was there with him and Ahsoka. Yeah. Like Anakin's apprentice, Vader's apprentice. But yeah. they never went that route, you I know? Fight. Yeah. And aside from some weird story they could do where he comes back in Ahsoka season two, he was like on ice or something. I don't know, like Dagon Gara. I just yeah. don't like it. I think that the ship has sailed. Yeah. And I don't know. I'd have to really think about it. I'm sorry. I think we can hang that up. What yeah. did I? I must have missed something. Congrats, your own little Grogu. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has gotten so many Grogu things already. Yeah. Uh, the Seth Solo Hour. Yeah, there there you go. Beyond the Dune Sea, the Seth Solo Hour. Yeah. I love it. I don't feel like the people would want to watch Seth Solo for an hour. That's the problem. <laughs> yes, Beyond the Dune Sea does offer a paternity leave. We, that was in the contract. That was. Well, we knew so, going in. <laughs> uh, my plan, that was in the books. <laughs> how long? My plan is... My plan is two weeks. Um, I, now I'm gonna like we're gonna pull it back a little bit, probably for a, a little bit. Not, we'll see. I think that there's still gonna be time to do, yeah, some stuff. But hey, I'm I'm a new parent. I don't know. I I mean, I know a little bit what I'm in for, but also I don't know. You know, so it's yeah. kind of just. And I'm just ready to be a good uncle, a better a better uncle than Owen. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Seth over here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. what was the meme? Congrats, man! I didn't know that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ash. What was the meme with him? Where he like, uh, where he like put his hand on the, uh, during Kenobi. What was the thing where he, uh, the meme? Yeah, the meme where he talks to Owen or where he's talking to Kenobi and he says something about Luke that, like, what was that? Was there a meme? I, I know yeah, what he talked like about. A, yeah, there was a meme where, like, uh, where he was constantly like back talking everybody and, like, I don't, cause he's got some crazy line in the trailer that, like the like you killed his father thing. I yeah, don't, I don't something remember. like yeah, something like that. Like like how yeah, you saved his father. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I want to be better than that. Like you saved your mom. Like you saved your mom. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. would be an epic birthday. Yeah, I know. Hey, May fourth. That would be yeah. that'd be wild. Yeah, it's, it's a little after May fourth, but yeah. not not far. Yeah. Um, Chad as always, gents. Thanks. We're just kind of riffing for a minute. Uh, yeah. We're kind of sorry. <laughs> um, the Seth Solo Hour, a Beyond the Dune story. <laughs> I love it. Maybe that's my origins. That's fun. It's my origin story. Yeah, that's why you cut your hair. It is to. Do I look like Harrison Ford? I don't feel like I do. No, I just look like. <laughs> I just yeah, you're right. I just you're... dorky Anakin from the Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I was getting at, but. Um, 
Hopefully you could talk about tales before you dip out in a few weeks for Acolyte. We'll but we'll be here waiting. Appreciate that, Grayson. Yeah, we're yeah. we're actually um do your Harrison Ward impression. Do you have one? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't even know. I don't even know. It ain't that kind of movie, kid. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's not how the force works. I don't know. That I have no He's idea. He's kinda got a very like he does. specific cadence to his voice. Yeah, he does. That, um but yeah, can... for Tales, our plan is we're gonna live stream that day. On May the fourth, do a May yeah, the fourth stream. We'll watch it and then then stream that day. That's going to be the day after our Bad Batch finale episode, which I'm just saying, the last two episodes of the Bad Batch for like our coverage of it. Just saying, you might want to tune in. That's all. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Look at that comment from Metro Plus. <laughs> 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 oh, shoot metro by the way i did see you sent me a message on instagram i apologize i will get to it soon um do your harrison impression hello well love it okay we need to wrap this up <laughs> yeah because we're just sitting we're, we're, we're just, rapping we're, we're having riffing. a good time we're riffing we're yeah. riffing. it's a good time it's hey good stuff all 19 of you guys in here you guys seriously it means the world to us so you guys tune into this show every week yeah. uh, we love seeing all you guys in here our regulars our channel members thank you so much it truly does mean the world to us especially during this tumultuous time yeah. <laughs> you know uh but we're out here chugging we're gonna yeah. be uh out beyond the dune sea like, like i said we've been, at, at worst i think we're in for more live shows mm -hmm. which yeah. judging by this we're all having a great time yeah talking about star wars i think i need to try to say this line that's here Oh, from Daybreaker? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything's fine under control. The situation is uh, normal. We had a uh, slight weapons malfunction, but yeah, uh, everything's perfectly all right now. Yeah, we're fine here. Fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Uh, boring <laughs> conversation anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Thank you guys for being here. Yes. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Yeah, dude, like, it's just, it's, I mean, we think about it, uh, uh, I mean, we still talk about it, but it's just like, it's crazy how it's growing and like... The, Would have never thought. I yes. mean, it still blows us away. You know? Yes. And hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Yeah. Enjoying what we're doing over here. Um, yeah. We're going to keep chugging. We yeah. got three more episodes of Bad Batch. I know. And then, then we get to... Well... We get a break. We get a little bit of a break and the, the, probably a youngling. And then... <laughs> Yeah, better be a young lady. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But and then Acolyte. Here, I'll just tell him. This is my nightmare: is that we're on, we're doing the panel, and then you're gonna get that text <laughs> that like my phone's gonna ring. It's you like, hey, come home now. See ya, yeah. see ya, Jim. And then it, and then Jim Cummins, nice to meet you. Head and then out. it's yeah. just me and him up there, and I'm just like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. But hey, that's yeah. all right. That's all right. Yeah. I'll be here for it. It's a fun story to tell. I guess so. <laughs> then you're on your own. I don't want to be left out beyond the dude scene. <laughs> All right, guys. Next week, Bad Batch. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you guys next week.